This video was taken from the live stream of Urban Lad Yorkshire. Matthew Hooper is a bully and has now claimed like a moron that there is an injunction against me not to mention his name, his family's name or his YouTube channel after some of the things he's done to me and pointing out that he is a bully. What sort of fool does he take us for? Only four days have passed since this video was uploaded. So if we take it as three days, if he goes the next day, as this was broadcast in the evening, to being able to see a solicitor, then the solicitor the next day going to a court and asking for a listing in front of a judge, and then one day later is in front of a judge, really. So in three days, with COVID-19, he's managed to get a solicitor, get a listing in a court, and get an injunction. Three days. What sort of fool does he take us for? Please enjoy Matthew Hooper. Yes, that's Matthew Hooper. You know, Matthew Hooper, Matthew Hooper, Matthew Hooper. Oh dear, I've just mentioned your name five times. Oh my God, I must be going to jail for a hundred years now. Yeah, enjoy this because this guy is a moron and you need to know what a dangerous little bully he is. To email me and we can discuss this. I have no problem with that. Are you 100,000% sure you didn't? Don't be digging a hole now. Yeah. Uh, keep it clean on this channel, please. Uh, just, just funny how I can be on a PlayStation network at home in bed, unwell, and Bruno claims I was in the area. Cheers, LK. Uh, we've got someone that wants, obviously wants to say a few things. Uh, Hi Matt, how are you doing, buddy? Look, looking good, don't I? Fucking, I've got my makeup on. There you go. Can't hear you. <laughs> Hang on. Well, you can't hear me. Can't hear you. You can't hear me. Why can't you hear me? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, Look four, five. Look at you. <laughs> Can everybody oh, else you hear him? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can hear you now. Oh, you can. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I should read these comments. Yeah, how, how are you doing for the anyway? Before we start all this business, oh, you sure you want to get into this, mate? I was going to save this one, but I fucking I, 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 spot, I spotted him on your fucking talk. Excuse my bad language. Let me get my headphones on. I spotted the little the little fucking wanker on your oh, okay. thing. Sorry, mate. I'm gonna I'm dra I'm gonna drag you into this because you don't well, know anything about this. Well, tell, tell me what. <laughs> Tell us what's happened then, buddy, because and then people can right. actually defend themselves and that, can't they? You know what I mean? Okay. No, I didn't call no one Matthew Williams. Right. So he's he's absolutely 100%. No, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, just funny how I can be on the PlayStation Network at home in bed and well, and Benno claims I was in the area. <laughs> do you know oh, what? Okay. Do you know what? Do you know what, Mr. Matt Hooper? Yeah. I can prove where you were, and I can prove you fucking stood by my car, looking in through the windows, called the police, told them we were terrorists trying to get into the London underground, waited for the police to arrive standing next to my car, pointing them there, down that laneway, down that laneway. There they are. And then you went down there with them and you explained a little bit more to them. And I have all the evidence I need as to who was there, who called the police. And do you know what? 
when you see the evidence, <laughs> when you see the evidence, because I'm going to make you sweat, right? Nobody's going to believe who's telling the truth here, right? Is it Matt or is it the other Matt? Is it Mr. Hooper or is it the secret vault? But I tell you what, when they see the evidence that I'm going to show down the line, and I'm going to keep you sweating, when they see the evidence, right, you, as far as I'm fucking concerned, can fuck off out of Urbex because you don't fucking belong, mate. Yeah? That's what I'm saying. You fucked over people you go out on Urbexes with. You fucked over people you know in order to get to me. And it didn't work because you were unsuccessful in getting me arrested because I got out to that place from another exit, jumped over a wall, and the police were all over my car. And it's weird because you're the only person for the last month and a half, well, it's about two months now, has been <coughs> systematically taking photos of my car at every bunker in London that I've gone to and sending me photos and sending other people photos so you letting us know. And then there's the threats the threats that if you catch me in london you're going to report me to the police yeah you're going to report me to the fucking police why i don't know you i've never done anything wrong to you why the fuck are you on my case i don't even know you why are you on my fucking case why are you sending threatening letters out saying that you're going to fuck me over and get me in trouble with the police and saying that there's a court case with transport for london with me. There is no fucking court case. You're having fucking fantasies, mate. You're having absolute fucking fantasies. And the thing is, I've done a little bit of investigation on you, and guess what? Hmm. It's not a fucking... It's not an isolated incident, this. This is what you do all the fucking time. Sitting 24 fucking 7 on forums, attacking people, attacking people, like that, right? And causing major fucking shit for a number of urbexes over the years, because I've had conversations with a number of them, and they've gone, oh, my God. When I've mentioned your name, they've gone, fucking hell. Yeah? So it's not just me, but here's the thing. Nobody's going to believe, am I telling the truth or are you telling the truth? Because you rang the fucking police and said that we were terrorists, knowing full well who we were, knowing full well the people who were there with you, or, well, sorry, with me, were people you knew. Yeah, and you fucking phoned the police and called them terrorists. Well, hey, when the police turned up in force, as they would, in fucking force, and you led them down that lane to a bunker, when the, the your friends came out of that bunker and just opened the door to fucking tasers drawn, right? And were fucking forced down and were, put, were handcuffed because of you and your fucking bullshit. Your absolute fucking bullshit that you did there. And you're going to tell me that you were sitting at home ill on your PlayStation Network or whatever it is, yeah? Or whatever, Xbox or PlayStation. Mate, when people see it, when people see the evidence I've got, I'm going to make you sweat, right? They're going to go, what a complete and utter knut. Mm. So there, said, yeah? Now I'm going to make you sweat, because when we do the expose on you, seriously, fuck off and leave Urbex alone, you fucking psycho. Fuck off and leave Urbex alone, you fucking schizo. You two-faced, little, lying shit. Fuck off and leave Urbex alone, okay? You can do it now or you can do it down the line. But one way or another, you are going to fuck off and leave Urbex alone, Okay? You are jealous of YouTubers who've got fucking success in numbers. You've told people you hate YouTubers. You hate fucking YouTubers. You've been on YouTube for seven years. You don't have a lot of subscribers. And you're having a pop at people who do have subscribers. That's your problem, mate. That's not our problem. That's your fucking problem. Excuse my fucking French. Your problem. You've got a problem, mate. Yeah? You've got a real fucking problem. And you had to move from up north, didn't you? And why did you move from up north? Because you shat on all the people around you up north. Yeah, and they got so fed up with you 
I think they said a few things, a choice things to you, and you moved back to you moved to London, didn't you? And you're living with your aunt, and you're not happy about that. Why? Why did all that happen? Because you totally took a curly whirly fucking ninety nine flake fucking shit on the people that you were doing urbexes with up there, and now you're back to your old fucking habits in London. Well, I'm going to expose you, mate. Fucking expose you for what you are for what you are because you deserve it. I gave you a chance to tell the truth and you still can't fucking tell the truth in the comments. I said, swear it on your auntie's life. Oh no, it wasn't me. Well, your fucking auntie will will be dead. If there was a if there was such a thing as a curse in this world, you're lucky there isn't, yeah. I said, swear it on your auntie's life. So you would have just cursed your fucking auntie to death. Yeah? That's the sort of person you are. Yeah? I gave you a chance. But you're like, oh, you can't fucking prove it. I know what your mentality is. I can get away with anything. I can fucking do this and everyone will think, ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah? No, no, no. Plausible deniability. There's no fucking plausible deniability on the evidence I've got, mate. Yeah? But let's let you sweat out now. Let's let you sweat. Yeah? Let you sweat before we drop the fucking bomb on your head. Not literally. Meta. Meta. Yeah? We're going to drop a meta bomb on your head, okay? And we will let the public decide whether they ever wish to bother with somebody who will do things like you ever again. So that's my that's what I got to say. I wasn't going to deal with it, but I've I've seen I've seen you going out with Urban Lad, and I've seen you in his videos, right? And I cannot fucking believe you're here right now because I got a notification that you were he was on. And when I saw your name in that fucking sidebar, you took right. I've only left you one comment on your videos and you took that comment off. Yeah. OK, so it's coming. Remember, I said in that comment, I said your time will come. Yeah. Your time is coming, mate. Trust me. I don't fuck about. And I don't make, I don't say things I don't mean. I'm not like you. I don't fucking lie. Okay? Your time's coming, mate. Your fucking time's coming. And you've only got yourself to blame for this, for being a knut. Okay? So there you go. <laughs> and breathe. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry right. about that. Sorry about uh, that, but I suppose that'll get you a few more views, uh, Marcus. <laughs> People will be wanting to see that one. 18 only. It's going on 18 only. Well, I, I like I say, I, I don't know what's going on, but obviously you guys will sort it out amongst yourself. Uh, Urban Fox Club has put, I don't hurt, hate YouTubers. I know Marcus and I've been pit, that must mean out, with Finders Beepers and Dan Dixon. So, yeah, well, a lot of people, a lot of people know who you are. I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you what I know. Not yet. Not just yet. We'll surprise you. We'll surprise you. It'll be like um, a trip down memory lane for you. It'll be like uh, this is your life, which I don't even know if that's still on television anymore. But what we'll do is we'll invite the people who know you and like you or hate you to have a chat about you. And we'll see where the, the fucking cards fall. Excuse my French. So, yeah. It'll be like a trip down memory lane. And we'll see whether we can jog your memory on some of your behaviours. Not just the most recent one with me. Yeah? Because all you did there, you just shat on two people that you've been out urbexing with to try and get to me. And why? I don't even know you. The only... the only I think I've, the, the closest contact I've had with you was coming out of a bunker. Yeah? And you were there. And I went, all right, mate. And you got in touch with people that who were there with me who spoke to you, but I never spoke to you. So why are you having a go at me? What what have I done to you? And I, you know, I'd just like to make the point that you seem to you seem to be acting like you own London, like it's your personal property, and people are not allowed to come to visit bunkers and not allowed to visit sites in London. Because you are going to threaten them if they come there. Because you haven't just threatened me, you threatened others as well to get to me. Yeah? Haven't you? Haven't you? 
Yes, you have. <clears throat> so you're not very clever, and you leave a shit trail behind you that's actually going to come out and be read out, yeah? Because you write to people, so we've got what you have written, including your threats to me, and the things you've been writing to other people saying, Transport for London, I've got a case against me, and they're going to be taking me to court. Really? Well, why is this the first time hearing about it then? And then saying, oh, but Matt Williams doesn't know about it yet. Well, you obviously wanted to get back to me because why would anybody write to other people and say, oh, by the way, Transport for London are coming after Matt Williams. He's got a case against him, but don't tell him. Uh, 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 uh. Mate, there's something wrong with your head. Why would you think that something like that wouldn't come back to me? Why would you write shit like that? Why would you write threatening things that you're going to contact the police if you see me in bunkers around London? What's all that about? What's it got to do with you? Anyway, you know, I don't. I, you know, I'm not telling. I'm not telling you or anyone else not to go to bunkers. You don't see me doing that. I'm not telling people like, oh, it's my bunker. Oh, I'll frighten you off by telling you that, oh, the big boogeyman's coming to get you, so you will just stay away from my bunkers. Yeah, can you imagine what people would say about me? And they'd be right if I was doing shit like that, yeah? Well, they're going to be saying it about you, mate, yeah? I'm, I'm exactly. just jumping out for a piss. All right, mate, yeah. <laughs> they're going to be saying that about you. But we'll keep my powder dry, okay? Because when it comes out, it's going to be a lot more than what I'm talking about here now, right? That's that's the kindling, right? It, that's the kindling. The fire, hopefully, will finish your credibility once and for all. Because what you did there could have ended up in people being injured by the police, yeah? The police dog that they brought there got into the bunker. I had my dog with me. My dog could have attacked the police dog, and that would have meant one dead police dog. All because of you. We're very lucky that didn't happen. We're very lucky that the people who were taser pointed at them and arrested, we're very lucky, aren't we? We're very lucky that what you did there didn't result in an injury or a death by people who, whose job it is, the police, to stop terrorists, and you've just told them that terrorists are trying to get into the London underground, and they took it seriously, and they turned up in force, and you know this because you know how many were there, yeah, armed response, dog unit, there are about nine police vans, three transport for London vans, and what was the upshot of all that? The people who were there got let go because they hadn't done anything wrong, yeah, they got let go, and I got out the other end of the bunker. So the person you were trying to get to, me, for some reason, you ended up shitting on them. It's lucky nobody was hurt. And it's lucky that police dog that went in there, because the police lost control of their own dog, if you can believe this or not, the police lost control of their own dog, and it went running in. And I had my dog with me in a bunker. My dog would have attacked that dog, and I wouldn't have stopped my dog attacking that dog, because my dog would have been protecting me. Yeah, and that would have probably meant that that dog would have been injured or dead. And that wouldn't have been a good day, would it, Matt? Because that would be remembered for a long time as I ended up getting a police dog killed because of you reporting people as terrorists in a bunker. What a good day that would have been, eh? What a good day. How irresponsible of you to do that. How absolutely irresponsible. And you are going to have to take atonement for what you've done there. And my best method for making you pay is going to be by telling people about you so they know exactly who oh. you are so they can avoid you like the fucking plague. Absolutely disgraceful behavior. I've said it many times. I wasn't there. <sighs> really? I have I'm mate on FaceTime whilst I was at home. Really? Well, that's that's interesting, isn't it? Because you could get somebody to say something like that. My evidence goes a little bit beyond you having your friends back you up. OK, my evidence is a little bit 
better than that. Okay. So just stay tuned and watch that. Watch this space. Okay. Because I haven't wanted to put it out on my channel yet. Okay. And there's a reason for that, but it's coming. Just got to get a few more things together to make it worthwhile. So I don't want to go off half cocked. Okay. I want to make it an absolute entertainment event. Okay. A highlight of the year. Just because people like you have to learn that you do not fucking control people. You do not control locations. Yeah. And we do not fucking bow down and fucking kiss your ass or fucking take your threats or take your abuse. Okay. We're not going to fucking do it. And if you think you're a slimy little shit who can operate behind the scenes and get away with it, I'm going to show people what a slimy shit you are. You're denying it. We know it was you. And we got evidence that I don't think you can shake. So dig yourself an even bigger hole by telling us that you were on FaceTime and you were ill and you were at home and you got witnesses. My evidence will trump that immediately out of the park. I've got something that you cannot deny. Okay? So thank you very much. Yeah. And we'll see. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. Were you at home? <laughs> were you? We'll see. Were you at home? We'll see. Were you at home? Hmm. Yeah. Because I've seen, and you weren't at home. I've seen, and you weren't at home. Where exactly were you whilst all this was going on? Because I was standing across the street watching it. I was watching the police from across the street. I even got my car away from there. Because they were all over my car, because you showed them photos of my car, and you said that is the that's the guy, and they were like, "Whose car is this?" And they were using those people's keys who were, who were the police arrest. They were trying to get in to my car. Why would they even know? Why would they even know that was my car? Ah, but you've been stalking the bunkers and taking photos of my car and obsessing and threatening me, and then funnily enough, they're all over my car. Weird, that isn't it? Are the police telepathic? How would they know that was my car? Hmm. Why would they take the keys from those lads and try to use those keys and remotes to open my car? Only my car, nobody else's car, my car. Why is that then? Why would they do that? The police are bloody good telepaths, aren't they? Hmm. Like I said, I've seen, mate. I've seen. Because I wasn't where you thought I was. I've seen. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> Transport for London, Transport for London, right, said they don't own that place. They're not interested in it. And it does not connect to the London Underground. So there was no basis for them to even be called in if it wasn't for your stupid bullshit calling the police. Anyway, let's keep some of the best bits till last. Because like I say, <laughs> you're saying I was there. I'm not saying you were there. I'm going to show you were there. Okay? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show evidence you were there. Yeah, that's right. So, there we go. And we'll, we'll I'll be quite happy to, if, you, if Urban Lab, don't delete this, okay? Keep this, because I'd love to keep the um, the chat on the side, and I'll copy it, so we can actually show that he's very definite about the fact he wasn't there. Anyway, sorry, I'm mate. I'm keeping it anyway. There's 43 people in the chat. I'm like, woohoo, kitching. Yeah. <laughs> well, so I'm, I'm, we well I'm sorry about what's happened between you guys, but you know what I mean. It's it's a it's a very brutal world, is this uh, urbex in? You know what I mean? There's a lot of. Uh, well, it doesn't need you know to be. I mean? It doesn't need to be. I thought that, you know, it's like there's most subject subjects in life. People get together and actually, um, actually have like you know brotherhood, and they look after yeah. each other and try to help each other out. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I've been out with the. Uh, uh, I don't. Get, I don't give a fuck what CCTV footage you got in your house, right? You so-called security guard, you really what? You couldn't change the dates on that footage, could you? Uh, yeah. I don't care what your evidence is. You'll care what my evidence is, okay? 
You know, you could you could bring me photos of you walking around the house in your underpants with this date stamp on it. It doesn't matter, right? My evidence will trump your evidence. I guarantee you. So if you want to fake up some evidence now, you want to fake some stuff up of you when you were walking around your house and some dates and some shit like that. You want to be frigging security guard, yeah? You probably wanted to be a police officer, but you, you you're too fucking low IQ to even be a police officer. Because I've heard you speaking in your videos and you don't come across as a very intelligent bloke. Sorry to say. Yeah. So now you're, the best thing you can do in life is become a security guard. And you're not even very good at that. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's terrorists. Come and get them, please. You're not even a good security guard. Because I think a security guard would probably come up with a better story than that one. Yeah. A good security guard. So you're a pretty shit security guard as well, aren't you? Unless, of course, stalking bunkers all around London all day long, 24-7. How the hell did you find me at these locations over two months? How were you there at these locations all the time? Is that all you do? Is that all you do? Drive around London from bunker to bunker to bunker to bunker to bunker to bunker until you find some people and take your photos of their cars. Is that what you do? Is that what you do? Because you didn't know I was going to be there. Nobody told you I was going to be there. How did you know? How did you know? How did you know? Or do you just go around bunkers all the time? Or have you got cameras set up on these bunkers? How the hell do you know? Because you're involved in CCTV. That's your job. Like I said, I've done some. I've done some background research on you, mate. Oh, we we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna excite excite and you know. Set, the, set the, the sky on fire with the information I've got about you. But you're a CCTV engineer. So have you, put C, have you put CCTV cameras on these bunkers? Are you monitoring other people's property without their knowledge? Are you? Are you? How do you know? Or are you just driving <clears throat> around these bunkers all day long? That's the only thing I can't work out. So that bit we'll leave on the fence. But... Yeah, there's something weird about the way you're operating because, I mean, to put cameras on a bunk, what are you trying to do? What exactly are you trying to do? I'm scratching my head as to why you'd feel a need to be doing all of that for things that aren't your property. What are you trying to do? What exactly are you up to? Are you trying to get evidence or information on people going into these bunkers? What exactly are you trying to do? So a bit weird. A bit stalker-like. Very strange. Yeah. So, you know, like I say, you can come out with your CCTV footage. And how many people have CCTV footage in their house? Yeah, because he's a CCTV engineer. So he's CCTVing himself. Whilst he's maybe he's CCTVing the rest of us. Have you checked out your back garden? Maybe he's got a camera out there. Yeah, you're involved in Urbex. I think you better start checking on the on the, the telegraph poles outside your house because maybe this wank has got a camera on it. Find out what you're up to. He certainly seems to have something going on in the London area around where he lives. There's something going on. He's either driving around all these bunkers all the time, which to me would mean like mental. Or maybe he's got some sort of sophisticated system. Maybe he's got these places under surveillance. And why would that be? Because they don't belong to him. Weird. I don't have any answers to that one. But I'm scratching my head. Mm. <laughs> oh. Don't dig yourself in too deep now with all your bullshit, but carry on. Carry on. Because you've already sent a load of letters out, you know, threatening me, you know. So, you know, you, you want to dig dig the hole deeper and, you know, by all means, you know. But I would be careful because you're not a good liar. So I would just be careful about how much you try to whitewash this now, right? Be careful because it's going to all come back on you at some point. So, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> it wasn't him as he kept. It wasn't him. Mm, okay. Okay. Like I say, we will see, won't we? We will see. Yeah, we will see.
Mm. But I'm going to make you sweat. Because the bullshit you've been doing over the last couple of months has been to try and make other people sweat. But now it's time for you to have a little sweat before we show you what we've got. Okay. Anyway, Marcus, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, sort of keep on about it now, but, you know, it's like fucking, sorry, I just, you know, it, Matt, I, I'd rather, I'd rather I, I, not, I'd rather not knock on his fucking door, even though I happen to know where he lives. And, and and I've been given his telephone number and his address, and people have said like, "You want to go around it?" And I'm like, "No, I don't want to deal with it like that. Actually, I don't want to." So when I saw him on here, I thought, "Oh, what an ideal opportunity!" <laughs> yeah. yeah. So sorry no. for fucking hijacking it for a bit there, mate. Sorry about that. Um, listen, Matt, I've got fifty people watching, so it's fine. You 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 guys crack on. I'll just sit here all night, me. <laughs> Yeah, but and it's I, know not... that it's a, I know that it's a bad thing, guys. I don't want you to be, uh, you know what I mean? It's well, yeah, nothing, I, you know, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't hijack your thing, but I saw him on you and I'm like, oh my god, call me if you have your, your number, happily talk, mate. You didn't want to talk, you've been sending all this shit to people around me to get my attention. You never what you, you could have had my telephone number, you could have sent something to me. I'm not hard to contact, but now that you've caused all this shit, you want me to call you. I am fucking calling you. I am going to put my evidence out on a fucking big expose. Then, then if you want, you can call me. Fuck you. I'm fucking calling you. You have done what you've done. I have the evidence that will fucking bury you. Yeah. Bury your fucking name. And it's been a long time coming. Yeah. It's been a fucking long time coming. And we're going to get a celebrity fucking audience. Come on. Yeah. So, no, I don't want to speak to you. I don't want to speak to you. In fact, after we've heard everything, you can come on at the end of it and fucking tell us we're all wrong if you want. After you've seen the damning evidence, you can come on and say, no, that's not right. It's not fucking right. I'm innocent. Yeah. After we've shown it all. There we are. I'll, I'll afford you that. How's about that then? You come on and tell us why we're all just fucking retarded and you've done nothing wrong. After we show evidence, after evidence, after evidence, and then the cherry on the fucking cake evidence. Yeah. I've, I've put the link in the chat there if you want to come on, um, Matt, and just say your bit, buddy. You know what I mean? I don't want to speak to this guy. I don't want to fucking speak to this guy. Yeah. He's, he's made it quite fucking clear what he was going to do when he saw me at London Bunkers. And it's exactly what he fucking did. He threatened it. Yeah. He let everyone know he was going to do it. And when he had his opportunity, he fucking did exactly what he said he was going to do. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't need to speak about that. No. I don't, I don't really need to speak about that. I've seen with my own eyes. Because I was not in that fucking bunker. Luckily, I wasn't in the bunker. Yeah. We got yeah. out. We got out. Yeah. Did you say something about uh, when I jumped out for a slash? I heard you say something about a police dog or something. A police dog was was at the top where these officers were with their tasers drawn. Yeah. Where people okay. got arrested, and we were at the bottom of the stairs, and we heard a dog, and I went, "Oh, fuck's sake!" Because the thing is, I've got my dog with me, and she's quite aggressive with other dogs, and ultimately. If my dog was going to get attacked by a police dog and injured, and my dog was was pinning onto a police dog, I would have to take that police dog out. I would have to help my dog to, to defend. So yeah. I would have had to have helped my dog disable that fucking police dog. Yeah. And that wouldn't have been a nice time. And I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have given two shits about that, to be honest, because I was attacked by dogs when I was a kid. So if anyone comes near me with a dog, I will, I will knife it in the heart. Won't have I won't lose a I won't bat an eyelid over that. Yeah. Not that I carry a knife, but I would. I would knife that dog in the heart. I would chop its fucking head off. Yeah. Yes. Because I was nearly killed by nasty fucking dogs when I was a kid. So if it's wow. between me and the dog, the dog's getting it. But, but, but why were you nearly killed? What happened with that? What? I was attacked by two dogs, two stray dogs. And they had me, they were tearing me for half an hour when I was a kid. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
you know. That that's why Angel's so cool and in it, you know what I mean? Because you've you've got her and she's like she she's she's she'd, boss. She'd, she'd she's protect the boss. me. She'd protect yeah. me and uh she she will go for other dogs. You know, she likes humans, but she don't like other dogs. Yeah. So she she will protect me. And the trouble is that had that police dog come down, we would have been in that situation. So we were very lucky that we were able to get away from that that scenario. So it didn't come to be a problem. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> but it was it was tight. It was tight because, I mean, you know, how long did it take for a dog to come down? And the police lost control of it. They walked up with the dog. The dog got out of their hands and they were shouting and the dog came down. As far as I'm aware, because the people who were arrested said that was it. The dog disappeared into the bunker and that was goodbye, dog. So they lost control. Yeah. Oh, dear. So, Yeah. I was in the you know, vaults traveling to London a few days, 28 days later, idiots slugging you off and was telling me, oh, okay. No, 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 mate. You were saying these things, not 28 days later. Yeah. And you're a bit of a fantasist as well. Uh, you know, you're a bit of a fucking fantasist because, like, you know, you told, you told yeah. those lads, I heard it as I was leaving. You know, I take photos for 28 days later, you said. You got kicked off 28 days later, which is probably a good thing, like most of us, yeah? But you, you you, were still going around telling people that. Like, you're telling people you can get them in places. I can get you in here, I can get you in there, and it, and it never fucking comes to pass because you're full of shit. The way you operate is you, you tell people things to get them to take you out places, and you go, I can get you in here, I can get you in there. And you never fucking do, or you very rarely do. And it's usually based on the fact that you're just leeching information off other people. That's how you get people in places. But you manipulate people with that information because you know full well you can't get people in places. And you, it's your way of manipulating and controlling people and, and bullying people with it as well, which is a rather sad thing we'll have to talk about, how you bully people to get information and control things. You're a fucking bully. Not only are you making threats to me, you're bullying people around you. Yeah? And you're not fucking clever enough to be bullying people, so I suggest you stop it. Because you're not very good at it. Yeah? So I suggest you have a fucking think about it. And think about why you moved from up north. And all the shit that made you move down to London. Have a think about it. What did you do wrong there? We'll talk about it more when we do the live show. What did you do wrong there? Mm. He, he said he said earlier on in the chat that he uh, had to move because his uh, uh, tenancy were up or something like that. I know that his tenancy were up at one point, right? But... Yeah, well, that was probably just about the same time as you had to fucking skedaddle anyway. Yeah. Uh, it's put I think your time on. was basically over, wasn't it, where you came from? Because you'd fucking shat on a number of people who, who didn't really like you very much anymore for the way you'd done things. And it seems like, you know, you, you just can't help yourself. You can't fucking help yourself. Yeah. Mm. It's sad well. that this has happened, though, you know what I mean? It's... Uh... We should all be uh, a team, you know what I mean? We're all doing the same thing, so we should all be uh, happy about what we got. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, uh, Matt. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, obviously, and, and you know what I mean. It's, it's like you've said earlier on. It's your word for his word, and that. And all well, we all the need to do is. I've gone off a bit half cocked here, but like I say, I don't want to give all my information away at this point. And well, I could, but. I mean, for 56 people, <laughs> no, yeah, I'll, no. I'll, save, I'll save it for a special and we'll advertise it and we'll get a whole load of fucking people in there and they can all spread it out <clears> in there in one nice big, nice big event. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm on next Sunday if you want to do it then. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd, I've got to have a chat with a couple of people and, and see what's going on and see what the best way is to deal with it. But yeah. Yeah, well, it, it's just a shame that, you know what I mean, we can't all get on. Yeah. I mean, I, I know you both. I'm, I'm like stuck in the middle here, you know what I mean? I, I like you both, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I know that we've got some uh, awesome stuff to do when it yeah. gets warmer. Well, I, I, don't feel, I don't feel, you know, that I have a reason to, like, ring the police on you and call you a terrorist and try and get them to arrest you and 
uh, you know, I think we, we're sort of like better friends than that, say, Marcus. I mean, it's not the normal yeah, sort well, of thing that people people do to each other. It's like, that's not that's not normal behaviour. I mean, so I, I'd like to think that you, you're you not going to call the police on me, are you, Marcus, at some point? Is this what Urbex, you're not going to call the police and call, call me a terrorist or, or something, you know? I think I we, we, we wouldn't do that sort of thing. To each other. Th we're going to call the police on you, but it'd be a few more things, and before terrorists would be the last one, I think. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but so, uh, yeah. it's, uh, you know what I mean? I mean, when we did the fort, that, that would have, it were a banging explore. You know what I mean? You, you're a great guy. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I, I trust your judgment. You know what I mean? You, you're a good lad. You know what I mean? You, you're obviously doing something right because you get in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, uh, Matt from TL Productions, I know him, and he, he's, he's been great when I've been with him, you know what I mean? I, d I just don't know anything else about any of you, you know what I mean? It's, mm. like I say, I'm in the middle, so yeah. everybody that's in the well, chat, don't forget to subscribe. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much, you know, I've had a lot of shit in the, the last year from this guy now and someone else, and I don't even like mentioning his name, because it, it, the trouble yeah. is, it, give, it gives these fucking arseholes publicity, you know, and, and that's the, I mean, the, I, the unfortunate side side effect of me talking about this is he'll get more fucking subscribers which he doesn't deserve you know but well, i think people need to I be warned well yes i think people need to be fucking warned you know yeah. so they don't end up on the uh the, the wrong end of his his fucking wrath that he seems to do behind the scenes you know yeah. little fucking backstabbing fucking bastard you know, calling the police on people. <laughs> I mean, yeah, calling the police on people. It, it's not a, it's not a good thing. Whoever did it, you know. Well, what I mean, well, it's like urban. Just you know, the more you say this, the more it's going to make you look stupid, right? Later on. So, yeah, you know, if you want to go, I've never have a problem with you. I've never called the police on you. Then why did you fucking threaten? Why do you send threatening emails? That if you see me in London, you're going to call the fucking police. Why would you say that? And I've got this from different people, different directions, telling me that you're telling them the same thing because you want it to get back to me because you don't have direct communication with me. You're doing this through other people. And these people don't know these other people. They're not in connection with each other. They're not like sideways connected to each other. You're speaking to them. They're going, fuck me, Matt. What's this guy saying? And I'm going... I don't know. Why Why is he saying this shit? You know, why is he making threats to me? Why would he do that? I'm just like scratching my head. I said, oh, it won't come to anything. Oh, but it did, though, didn't it? Because you actually made good on the fucking threats. It's coming to me from different sources. And now you're sitting there in the fucking thing going, I've never had a problem with you. I've never called the police on you. Fuck, mate, if that's what you can do in the comments, mate. You'd, you'd fucking stab anyone around you then in that case because you, you're going to fucking smile to their face and stab them in the fucking back. If that's what you're going to say in the comments now, that you've not done any of that, right? <laughs> really? Anyway, watch, watch out, people, all 56 of you. Watch out for this guy. He's a fucking dark horse. That's all I'm saying. He really yeah. is. He's a fucking dark horse. And there's probably a reason why he doesn't have a lot of subscribers. You know? It's probably a, a reason for it. Yeah. You know, you go around doing this to people all the time. You know? I'm surprised, Marcus, you haven't had trouble yourself. I know that quite a few other people he has gone out on Explores with have. You must be the I lucky don't. one. I, I, I haven't had no trouble, you know what I mean? Uh, not, not at all, really. You know what I mean? We've been we've been out a couple of times, you know what I mean? And everything's been fine. Mm. Uh, well, I watched I watched the videos. You seem to get on okay. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, it, you know, it, is it, it a case of if he if he knows you and he's friendly with you, he's all right. But if he doesn't know you, like he doesn't know me, he doesn't know me. He's fucking. Oh, I'll stab him in the back. He he means nothing to me. I mean, why would he? Why? I mean, but the thing the thing is, he has been. He has been out with people who he's then kind of ended up not, not liking, and he's just done a lot of nasty stuff to. But he's been out on explores with them up to a point, then it goes sour, then he starts. You know, yeah. So you you may be just lucky at the moment because you're you're on the good side of him. I mean, I have yeah. never met the guy, and he's going for me. He's been going for me like a fucking like a runaway bloody train. You know. 
I don't even know the guy. Yeah, it's uh, well, I like I say, it's between you guys, in it. If you're gonna, uh, if you've got some uh, thing, it's about you showing your evidence and then him, him mm. throwing his part up there, isn't it? Really? Yeah. He want you know, and th this business, if he wants to speak to me, right? Well, explain this one to me then, right? Explain this one to me. I walked past you in a bunker. I wanted to get out of that bunker because I was it because we, I'd had enough because I've been to the bunker three frigging times taking people there, which is fine, but I want hang I want hanging around. So I walked past a couple of people. You were one of them, and I went, "All right, all right," like that. And I just didn't want to. If if you did wanted to stop me, I'd have been like, "Oh, okay, whatever," you know. And it's like I would have, but I just like I want to get out here. So I got I hightailed out. I went, "All right, mate," and I left. But you spoke to the two people I was with. Both of those people you've had communications with, Messenger, Facebook Messenger, and you chat to those people, but you send in them some fucking weird stuff regarding me. What, you think that wouldn't get back? They're my friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? So you've had weird communications, and what did I say to them? Put me in touch with this guy. Because I actually thought, because you're an Urbexer and you were down there and I didn't have the time to speak to you on that night, put me in touch. You didn't want to. You didn't want communications with me, but you you tell me to contact you now. I mean, I tried to make contact with you because I'd said hello to you, but didn't have time to. I knew they were in contact with you, and I know that you were telling them I could get you in this place, I could get you in that place. I, fair enough. I said that sounds wonderful. Now I know what I know because I spoke to a load of other people. It's what you do with people. You lure gullible people new newbies who don't know better you lure them in with 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 promises of great stuff but it doesn't come off which is probably why you didn't want to speak to me because you knew i just cut through that bullshit really frigging quickly so you, that's why you don't want to speak to me you'd rather keep these other people reeling them in and feeding them shit about me and it comes straight back to me and then you go, oh, really? How does he know that then? Oh, well, because you fucking sent it to them, you dickhead. You know? Well, you, you, do, you, do you actually know what... Are you? Uh, do you have multiple personalities or something? Because you, you're acting like as if you don't know what you've done. Do you, like, go click and you switch into another personality who's a criminal bully and, um, and then you switch back and you're like, oh, hi, hi, everybody, I'm your friend. And it's like, switch... <laughs> You're like a schizo or something. You like multiple personalities because you're acting, you know, like you you've not done anything. I've not been I've not been asked by anyone to contact you. Oh my god, fuck you know. Yeah, all right, mate. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I don't understand. I really don't understand what your problem is, but I you seem to have a problem. I don't know whether it's mental, jealousy, fucking whatever it is, whatever problem, but you have a problem and you are trying to cause shit behind the scenes. And then you don't just cause it behind the scenes, you called it caused it directly. And now I'm bringing it back home to exactly where it belongs because it's been bubbling behind the scenes for some reason. So I've not done anything to you. It's been bubbling away. And now you stuck the fucking knife and you go, no, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. When you were threatening to do it all the way up to putting the knife in, but it wasn't you. Oh yeah, yeah, mate. Oh yeah, we. I believe that one. Yeah. I'm. Oh, I must. I must be wrong then. God, oh, sorry. Maybe I made a mistake. <laughs> Jeez, shit happens, isn't it? Maybe I've got the multiple personality. Maybe I'm the psycho. Maybe I'm the one who's. Maybe I called the police. Was it on myself? Or maybe it was you. Because you sent those threats out to p other people, so it's not just my fucking imagination, because they came to me with what you'd said. That's the point. That's the point. Yeah? So it's not my fucking imagination, is it? So, you know, it's like it's like somebody who says, you know, um, I'm going to kill you, and then sends letters, and then leaves messages on phones. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. And then suddenly there's a body, a dead body, and then the police go, well, who could it have been? Well, we got letters, threats, da 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 da, da and we got evidence, and we got, you know, lots of, uh, well, I, I guess it must be the guy who was threatening to fucking do it. Yeah, there you go. So, anyway, 
Oh, all go. I can say is, uh, Matt, I hope you don't fall out with me, for fuck's sake. <laughs> well, you haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> well, I'm not good at now, am I? <laughs> well, no, no, I mean, you know, it's like I don't have any pro people that I meet. I treat them with respect until they start fucking shitting on me. And, they, and I've met a number of strange people involved in Urbex, and I distance myself from them once you know they're weird. But you're not weird. You know, I mean, I've not dis I've not discovered anything weird about you. I mean, you know, there are some people I I do have to treat with a little bit of caution because I mean, let's face it, there's some people out there they actually wear their fucking mental problems on their sleeves and yeah. fucking openly talk about the fact they've got serious problems. But this guy, this guy's a bit more underhanded. So yeah, yeah. And and it needs to come out because, you know, if he's got a problem with me and the rest of the Urbex community, which it appears, it's not just me. He's at war with pretty much, I think, a large portion of the Urbex community. Then maybe he's got a problem. Maybe he should seek help. Mm. Some sort of anger management or therapy of some kind, especially if he can't understand that he's actually doing something wrong. I think he needs to kind of maybe, you know, Look mm. at that. Yeah. Yeah, Adzi156. I'll tell you what, right, Adzi, right? I'll tell you something about that. But he, he makes a funny point. He says, there's always a drama. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to go and I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea and then I'll come back and I'll see what you've been saying. But I'll just leave you with this, right? I am <laughs> quite well known for being quite happy with discussing these things because I don't shy away from drama, okay? Um, I was hoping to not really have to deal with these things with, with the Secret Vault channel because that's stuff I've had to deal with for the last 20 plus years with crop circles and the weird people involved around that, you know, and there are a lot of strange people involved in that. But because people are so seeing that when they rub me up the wrong way, I talk about it. And I will I'll fucking talk about it open. I'll go, hey, I'm not having this. this. I'm not having this. And I talk about it. And people have said to me, Matt, Matt, you know, you know, you want to tone down the drama. And I'm like, yeah, fair point, fair point, fair point. And 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 the very same people that told me that, right? When I mentioned to them about what had been going on with this guy, right? They didn't know what I was talking about. And they said to me, Oh, not another one, Matt. Not another one. I said, it's not my fault, though, is it? I'm not I'm not inviting people to do this to me. And they went, oh, I just leave it if I were you. And they were giving me good words of sense. Ready? Get ready for the, the punchline on this one now. They were saying, I just leave it. I just leave it. It's not worth it, Matt. It's not worth it. Right? It's not worth it. And then I sent them this guy's photo, right? <laughs> and his name. Within five minutes, it was a phone call. Fuck that fucker, that fucking wanker. I tell you what, I tell you what, that fucking guy fucked me up. He's a right fucking little bastard. And I went, ooh. And he went, when you do a show or an expose on this, I want to be on there. And I'll get a few other people on there as well. And I went, but hang on a minute. would you just, and I was laughing. I was saying, but hang on a minute. Weren't you just telling me that I need to calm down on the drama and I should leave it and it's not good for the, for channels and people. That, and now you're going, fuck that, all bets are off. I'm in. He's like, this, I'm fucking in. I'm in. And I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah. And it's like, okay, can you bring any of, any others on board that, want, that feel the way you do it? He goes, yes. And I'm like, okay, sounds like we're going to have an interesting <laughs> show then. So, yeah, yeah. That's that's the effect that this guy has on people. He he. It's not a case of oh, just forget about it. This guy actively goes out of his way to not just be obnoxious, to fuck you up, to get you in a fucking in hell. He'd be happy if you were burning in fucking hell, screaming, yeah, in a jail cell, whatever, because he thinks he's fucking clever and he thinks it's he, he can get away with it. And he go, it wasn't me. Plausible deniability. It fucking was you, mate. You do it all the time. You've done it to them. You've done it to me. Don't even fucking... Don't even try to deny it. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go and get a cup of tea now and probably um, a beta blocker. Mm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> are you coming back on or are you uh, disappearing? Yeah. Yeah, I'll come back on. I wish I had some beer now because uh, 
now would be a good time to uh, douse myself in uh, something to calm myself down. But I'm going to go and take a beta blocker because, uh, yeah, that's one uh, of the reasons I, I like the drama because I got an over over adrenaline production. So when you get me going, yeah, I, fuck it, I want to go. I, d I just wish I could see my sticker behind you, but that mask's covering it over. I did say this the other night. I said he's going to be pissed off with me because I you know this mask. That's is, it. That's better. Yeah, you can see it now. Yeah, and what yeah. I need to do is give you another sticker so you can move it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, just leave it there. Block them other ones. <laughs> there we go. Let's move it down. I've actually got another one up here. You said you gave me a few of them, and I've got I another sticker up here. Yeah. 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 Right, I'm going to go and get one of my beta blockers and a cup of tea. All and right, I'll, buddy. And I'll come back in. All right, but, I'll see you in a bit, buddy. You got to give me time me out because I'll I'll I you know I did a ten hour stream the other night I can fucking I can talk forever so you'd have to time me out okay yeah, yeah you're fine buddy you you're fine you know what I mean obviously you've got a problem it's better it's better I'd rather you uh, you guys sort it out or whatever's gone on I, you know what I mean it's 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 worth for you guys for it to be all built up inside you might, you've got to get it out buddy I I agree you know what I mean it's like I I mean I wish I wish other Matt had to come on. Uh, and actually, you could have spoke about it all night for me. I could have gone to bed and just left you like talking about it. Well, the thing is, I mean, you know, it's we're just going to have sad. a uh, we're just going to we're just going to have a, a denial, and it's just going to be like you know, it's just going to be going. You, you can't be fucking seriously. I mean, I'll, I'll do it once we've done the show, right? We'll present our evidence, and then you can defend. Okay, afterwards. Tell us why we're all completely wrong, but let's 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 have our fucking day in court first because you've had your fucking day with m trying to fucking screw me to the wall, and you weren't successful. Yeah, so I'm gonna have my fucking day of fun now. Yeah, and then you can come on and tell me why I'm wrong at the end of it. I I'm happy that'll work for me, but <laughs> and you got security camera footage of me. Fuck off. You got fucking too many fucking security cameras, if you ask me. Mm. I'll be back now. Okay, buddy. Right then, guys. Wow. Obviously, um, uh, Matt and um, Evan Fox Club, uh, Cub, sorry, I've got some. Uh, uh, issues to sort out, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm I I, I I have been out with both of them, you know what I mean? Both set a good set of guys and that. Uh, I just uh, I hope stuff can get sorted out. What does everybody else think in the uh, the chat? Is everybody uh, anybody got a link for EastEnders closing theme tune? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, some people, uh, was it? Sometimes people have a go at wrong, just saying, yeah. Well, we don't know. Do we? Hello, everybody in the chat, anyway. Everybody that's jumped in and that, hello. Uh, hope everybody's all right, you know what I mean? Uh, if, if people aren't uh, liking what's been said, I, I do apologize, but obviously, if these guys want to. Fight it out, whatever you know. What I mean, it's it's whatever it is. Uh, I just, you know, what I mean. I, I mean, it, you you've all heard what what's happened. Obviously, uh, Matt's saying that uh, um, Urban Fox Club uh, Cub, sorry, has been um, he's been to a bunker or something, and then the police have been called. Uh, Marcus, I can confirm I just sent you the TFL. What's TFL? Post. I can see it on Facebook. What's TFL? Hold on. Let me have a look. <clears throat> You're asking me to do something now. I, I ain't got a clue how to do stuff like this. Oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. It's not the whole thing. Uh, uh, 
what he's claiming. Uh, that's what was what's on Facebook. So that's what we're rocking into my can you, can you do the, the photo again smaller so that we can see the whole writing, buddy? Uh, I've got it there, but you won't be able to see it anyway because it's there. But uh... Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, Barry Little. My coffee magpie. How are you doing? Uh, he's, he's sent me something through uh, uh, Instagram, I think it is, and uh, it's about a screenshot of someone that he wants me to show you. That uh, a screenshot of uh, of a I've message. Already, I've already seen it. Oh, yeah. I've okay. already seen all this shit because, you know, he was wafting yeah. it around. Wafting it around. Yeah. And it's yeah, not from it's not... twenty it's not from twenty-eight days later. And you don't want to you don't want to start fucking going twenty gate day gaze later. Right? Like as if you know you don't like him anymore. Yeah, because on the night we were down in that bunker where I walked past you and went, All right, mate. I heard you in the distance say, I take photos of 28 days later. And th and that's what you told the lads I was with. And you don't. You don't. You used to. And you're quite welcome to. But you don't, really, because you were kicked off there. And you, you, don't like, you don't like YouTubers. You don't like YouTubers. You're a fucking YouTuber. So what's all that about? How can you not like YouTubers? Or is it because you've been at it for seven years and nobody fucking nobody watches your videos? You know well, what's the problem? If you were if you were doing successful, you'd probably like YouTube, but you're not really doing successful. And maybe it's the format you're doing. I don't know. I don't know why people. Live. You're probably going to get a lot more fucking subscribers now from me bringing this out, which is unfortunate. I had a lot more people watching your videos now, but unfortunately, you see that's fucking bullshit because you don't deserve it. You don't fucking deserve that. Yes, Marcus. No, I mean I've 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 seen it all. Like I say, I mean people have been like, oh guy, this fucking guy is on your case. You know, he's fucking, you know. So I've I've had all this. I've I've seen all this fucking shit, and I've seen the threats from him. And they're not coming from other people. They're coming from him. He's not. It's not third person territory here. These are coming from him. Yeah. And how is it that he's been taking photos of my car at every fucking bunker? And then it went from, here's a photo of your car at a bunker. The next one was, here's another photo of you at the next bunker. And if I see you at any more of these bunkers, you know, there's going to be problems because this has been reported to Transport for London. So who took the photo then? Who sent it? It came from your account, your name, your fucking name. Yeah. So then what, he, he, sent, he sent that on the... Yeah. Oh took photos and then sent them to people saying here and then the third one is if i see him at bunker again i am calling the police third photo it's fucking stalkerish and then the police were called and then the fourth time i came it was actually i've been to bunker a, a few times but i mean it's basically with that, that group of people the fourth fourth effective time was police so he came through oh. on his on his threats you know Uh, you know, oh so why, why, you know, I can, I, I'm not, I haven't got a problem with somebody who wants to take a photo of my car and say, hey, I saw you were at a bunker. Right, cool. You know, it's like a bit of recognition in it. I saw you there. Hey, nice one, mate. Yeah. But it went from, here's a photo of your car. And I went, oh, okay, cool. He's, he saw us. He must have been there then. That was the first one. There was no weirdness with it. It was like, oh, cool. And that was sent to me. I was like, oh, that guy see, must have been. 
must have been taking photos of our cars because he sent the thing. And I, I didn't think anything bad of it because there was nothing bad attached to it. But the second no. one comes, and then it's this, oh, Transport for London are going to be informed and, and I don't know, like a slightly vague threat. Third photo comes from on the third visit to London. How the fuck is he around all these places? How does he know we're there? And how does he get there that quick? You know? Because, like, it, we're only in these places for, like, about an hour. So it's either very good coincidence or over the period of two months every time we've gone bang he seems to be there and able to take a photo and they are photos from that night because it's where i parked my car is it, uh, no, it's, these, it's exactly these, right. uh, yeah are these uh, uh places locations close together like or not really no oh okay <laughs> you're well. talking in, by car you're talking half an hour 45 minutes drive across london because it's pretty slow you know getting across yeah. london yeah. But the thing is, it's like, and then the the final one was kind of like, you know, here's your car. If I see, you know, see your car in London again, you're gonna get, we can call the police. And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck is this? What the fuck's this guy's problem? And the thing is, and other things that were, were being sent in addition to the photos, but the photos were his photos sent from his account with him saying those things, and he's not talking in the third person, like, you know, oh, I heard this guy saying that if. You come to London, he said he would call the police. He's like, No, I'm saying if I catch you in London, this is your car. If I catch you in London again, I'm calling the police. No third person, no other person, no 28 days later. This is coming from you. you know what I mean, so, yeah, mm. ah, crazy one. So, you know, like I say, you know, you can, you can just fucking, you know, let him defend himself. Yes, fine. After I've done my big night, yeah, we'll let him come on and we'll let him tell us why we're all black is white and white is black. But unfortunately, I don't want to give the sociopath a fucking centre stage here. Yeah. Okay, so the sociopath can come on at the end and and fucking go, nye, 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 yeah, because I think we'll have said our piece and people can make their decisions and then he can come on and tell us why we're all wrong if he wants. And yeah. show us his, his date-altered fucking footage. To, he was in the house. <laughs> I can think of about 25 ways I could also prove you were there, in addition to the evidence I've got, but it would require you standing there in front, and I could get your permission to access a few things, and I could show you exactly where you were on that night. Yeah. So, Yes. But you wouldn't want to do that, would you? So <laughs> you wouldn't really want to do that. You just want to sort of go, hey, it's not me. I'm innocent. Yeah, right. The one mm. I sent you on Instagram. Well, there's somebody oh, there's somebody who's got your messenger details and your accounts sending out messages and stuff in your name then, mate. You've been hacked to death because they're sending that shit out. And then it seems to happen. And then... We inquire as to how you would say it wasn't you, and then we find out it was you. <laughs> I never called the police. Mm. Remember what I said earlier on? He walks up, he's looking in my car, he's on the fucking phone, he's calling the police. Five minutes later, the police start turning up, he's directing them down the lane. Yeah. Kind of hard to unsee that, but we'll see what people think when they see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think people will start to see things in a very different fucking way because you weren't there, apparently, were you? Mm. Uh, well, well, what I think you need to do is be sending me that. Yeah, well, I'll send I'll you have, maybe I'll something, go. but you'll have to be. Uh, we'll talk about it off here. Okay, buddy. No worries. Yeah, that won't be won't be going. The post. Out. I don't want that going out just yet. You know? Yeah, no worries. So yeah, no worries, buddy. If, if you guys have, obviously you guys need to chat yourselves, don't you? Anyway, so well, you know what I mean. It's up to you guys. <laughs> oh well, you know, is, uh, is it is it for me to to like say, well, what are you doing with all these threats and shit that you're threatening? Because I'm just thinking he's not going to carry it through, you know, because I'm. I ring people up and say, "What do you, what do you want about mate?" But it just went a bit far, then, didn't it? It's like, yeah. 
I mean, it's like, um, obviously, he needs to explain himself as well, doesn't he? You know what I mean? But if he were playing on PlayStation, he would have, oh, Monty. Yeah. Mm. Crazy. <laughs> so it's all good in the hood. But, but was the explore that you did, did you record the part where the police dog was sprinting it down the ladder? I think I was recording. I'll have to have a look. I can't remember which bit where it stopped, but I think I was recording. And then we went like, oh, shit, you know, and it's like, hang on. So it's like, hang on, we, we might need to get moving here. And I can't remember if it actually does. I'll have a look. I can't remember where it where it stops. Um, and to be honest, I mean, once we were getting out to there, I didn't film the way out. Normally I would, but I had my dog with me and it was just like there was so much more going on. Um, yeah. It was hard for me to, you know, do, do what I would normally do, which would be continue to film. So the exit yeah. and me having to lift my fucking dog over a fence and down the other side. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. You've got no idea. And she's a big girl as well, isn't she? Yeah, and she was fighting when I was trying to get her over the fucking fence. But yeah, oh, wow. all cause of Captain Knut there. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Mm. Well, it, all I can say is I'm, I'm just, I'm really glad there's no dead police dog or an injured police dog. That's all I can say is I'm really glad that that didn't happen. That's yeah. a blessing. That's a fucking blessing. And maybe these things, I, I. I believe in karma, and in this case, I'm going to be his karma. You know, he's going to get some instant karma from this because what he tried to, that situation he tried to ignite there, could have ended in a number of people being injured. You know, yeah, and and it's like it's like the uh, the uh, that story with the uh, the kid shouting fox or whatever it is that that you know calling you know. It, yeah. Involving the uh, underground team and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Terrorist seeing terrorist in London's like a like a wow, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's like you do. It's like the same bomb on a plane, isn't it? Basically, you know what I mean? You just don't do it. That's it. <sighs> and and for anybody, whoever it was, um, you know what I mean? Because obviously, I don't. I'm I, I'm putting my hands up. I don't know who it was or what's happened or what. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, it's like it's for whoever's done it, that is wrong, especially to involve the people, the police, and everything. It's just such a waste of time, you know. What I mean, it's cost money and it's cost our money that we pay, you know. What I mean, I mean, the police have got far better things to do, and the thing is, it's hypocritical because, um, well, what's that person doing there? They're, they're there accusing others of doing something wrong in order to teach them a lesson, but what the fuck are they doing there? They think they've got the right to be there at that bunker. That bunker belongs to them and nobody else should be there, you know. Yeah. But, like, nobody else can be there. But they can. And like I say, you know, every time we we go to this place, this guy has turned up because he's taken photos and then sent them. You know, so it's like, you know, he's telling us that we're not allowed to go there, but he's prepared to drive across London. Then there's, like, he's been saying to people about it's disgusting about covid and all this fucking stuff he's been going oh you what what the fuck are you doing dude you're there in covid is you know everything you're saying others shouldn't do you're doing you know yeah so fucking hypocritical i mean you know it it, it just beggars belief you know and you got away scot free you should have been pulled up by the police that night and given a bloody covid fine you should have let alone the people who were there. You know, yeah. what gives you what what's, what gives you the right? Are you the owner of this premises? Are you the are you you the security guard for this premises? No, you're not. So you've got no real reason to be there, and let a better reason than any of us have got. So why do you think you can do that to people and tell people what they can and can't do and where they can and can't go? Just beyond me. Uh, GTA, GTA said, uh, "Let him defend himself." Uh, we've what they call it. We've we have uh, put the uh, link in the uh, thing for some people to come on if they want to. But he's like he's like a fucking record. This Fox Cubberbex. How does CBT? How says CDTV lie? You can't change the date on CDTV when it's already recorded. Well, you can, 
if you change the date after you've gone and done all this bullshit, if you date change the date to one day backwards, then you film a day in the normal life of you in the house. It's going to have that date on it, isn't it? Do really? Hey, you know when you sign a you know when you sign a letter and you put your, you you put Mr. Matthew Williams and you put the date, right? If you put the wrong date, well, that's the date, isn't it? Yeah. Duh. Yeah. Well, you you you're a real friggin' brainiac here, aren't you? I'm not gonna listen to CCTV footage from your house. No. Sorry, because you're a liar. Hmm. So try again. I know some ways that we could prove whether you were in your house, and I've got one of them, which is a fucking a big damning way thing where well, there's some other ways we could do it as well but if you really want to show, show whether you're actually telling the truth or not yeah when we finish all this if you want to if you want to literally you know sort of like bear all <laughs> there's some things that we can get hold of but we have to have your permission to do it which would prove or disprove so we could just add some more onto the cake things you cannot corrupt yeah, things you can't change the date on yourself. Yeah, they do exist. Oh yeah, but you'd have to want to. You'd have to want to prove your innocence to the point where you'd allow that to be seen. And then, of course, you'd say you do, and right at the last minute, you'd go, "No, nah, I don't." But that's because of my privacy. Blah 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 blah. Like a fucking sociopath. Yeah, bailout. Yeah. So, do I even want to waste my time going down that road with you? No, I'm just going to bring on the people who know you. We're going to talk about it. We're going to show the stuff you've done. And we're going to let people make their minds up. And you can go like a frigging record. I haven't done it. I haven't done it. I got my evidence to say I haven't done it. Really? Or well, we got a fucking lot of evidence to say you have. So, yeah. You can go You can go telling people on your own channel and seeing if you can win them over. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just going to give them my evidence and we're going to go. So what's all that about then? Considering this guy's saying he wasn't there. What's that about then? Hmm. Weird. You can't be in two places at once. You can't be in your house playing on your friggin' uh, <laughs> on your PlayStation. Specially caught on your CCTV. You expecting somebody to break in the house then or something? Mr. Security Guard, CCTV inside his house to prove he's there, really. And then when it suits him, change the date. See, I was there. Really? Yeah. Not, not, you can't be in two places at once. So, hmm. And the type of evidence we've got is something that's hard to fake, whereas changing the date on our CCTV is like click, 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 enter. Yeah, the type of evidence we've got is pretty hard to fake take a lot of money time and effort and a lot of people uh would have to be bribed like the police we'd have to be bribing the police in order to come out with the evidence that we've got you know all just to prove that you're you know doing something that you say you didn't do yeah or maybe the evidence is correct that we have mm. see you know but we've always got your CCTV say so, haven't we? Yeah, that's it. You know, yeah, absolutely. Right. Anyway, on that note, um, because I'm we'll be here all the fucking all the way to <laughs> yeah. So uh well, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be hard because I'm like a fucking dog with a bone. It's gonna be hard for me to talk about anything else, really, Marcus. So I'm probably useless to you now. It's it, it Matt. It's all good in the hood, buddy. You know what I mean. So if you get, if you guys need to, uh, you know what I mean. If you guys need to sort it out, it's fine with me. Mm. You know what I mean, it's, I mean, I don't want you to be stressed, buddy, neither. You know what I mean. No. Them videos I watched to you recently uh, in um, New, what in New Zealand you were in mm. the, the the crop circles, and that you actually had hair with zigzags <laughs> in. That's just like yeah. amazing. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a reason <laughs> I don't have hair now. And that's read, what read between the fucking lines. Yeah, there's a reason I don't have hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The reason I don't have hair as well, so I don't have yeah. to brush it in the morning. <laughs> I know. That's I mean, it. you know, like high stress environments. I I don't know how you. To be honest, I I'm impressed because I don't know how people can do it. My mate's a bus driver. You're a truck driver, and it's like pff, I could not do what you do. Uh, 
it's it's bloody it it's hard it. it's a hard it job that. Yeah. there's a lot of i mean people say to me uh, i mean my ex missus used to say it all the time but you sat down you sat down all day i've sat down all day but it's like the mental focus fucking image of everybody you see i don't just concentrate on forward it, it's like yeah. Someone once said to me, a car driver focuses on this part, you know, they just look like this. And and a truck driver has to use the whole window. And and I do use it. I'm I'm when I'm driving, yeah, I'm not just looking in front of me, I'm looking at the hill in front of me, over the other side of the hill where the road is, so I can see what's coming and what's happening. I'm using all the mirrors and stuff. It's stressful, honestly, God, it's so stressful driving a truck. And I mean, you can't, you can't even have a, I would imagine you can't even have a drink, you know, like, because it would just screw you the next day. You wouldn't be able to get up and you wouldn't be able to sort of get out and do things, oh, you know. You. I've, I've had like four cans tonight, like, but I don't drink usually. I don't, I don't drink uh, at all, really. Mm. I only drink when I'm on a, uh, uh, a live, but mm. that's it. I'm, I've got like uh, nine hours off still, so, mm. yeah. Uh, exactly, as they're not going to Dr. CCTV footage which downloaded to my phone on night. If it was, uh, oh, there was someone else that was going to come on, but he's disappeared now. Oh dear, oh yeah. dear, never mind. Well, there we go. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 the thing is, I mean, I've got used to this. Um, like I say, I mean, I'm quite, I'm quite an amped up person. I have been since being a kid, you know. And uh, I don't know which it is, chicken or egg, with me. But I mean, people, people say like, "Oh, Matt, you seem to sort of like thrive on like, you know, debate and and like, you know, point counterpoint and devil's advocate and all this sort of stuff." And it's like, well, I mean, you know, I think. I've just grown up in an environment where you need to be on your feet thinking and, and have, you know, have an ability to kind of put your point across. So, yeah. I mean, I don't like having to, to deal with these things. And I just wish I could just like forget about it sometimes, you know, and it's like, but like I say, there's, a, there's, there's been some challenges over the last year. There really has. Yeah. Um, uh, so it's, yeah. I mean, I, I just rather have a nice, you know, easy, easy life and go out and do the explores, and just yeah. get on, with, get on with people and, and not have any shit. But it just seems like you know, some of the people around me have got other ideas. You know, they're sort of like you know, yeah, yeah. It's not easy to work with people sometimes. Yeah, I've got a uh, random TV waiting to come on, and that. Uh... Well, that's, that's my that's my time to to exit then. I think. Oh, is it, buddy? Mm. Okay, then. Yeah. Uh, is it? Is it? What? What? Why is that? What? Why is the? Uh... I, I'd be perfectly honest. He knows this. I don't really think. What, I don't like that guy. Um. And okay. you know, there's another one. Um. Don't really. I, you know. He knows what. I'm not going to slag him off on you. I just don't like the guy. He knows why. Oh, okay. Um, I don't like the guy, but I mean, the thing is, this is this is me. I mean, I'd rather say to people, yeah. if I, I like him or don't like him, you know. Yeah, well, um, yeah, that, that's it. You know what I mean? It's like that. That just, I'm just exactly the same. It's like, um, I, I just say it, if I mean it, I say it. You know what I mean? It's like I'd rather tell someone to the face than slag them off behind the back. I just don't do hmm. that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I really. They're, they're, there are people that I, I've I've told them straight, like people I've gone out and explores with, um, and you're talking like people who have small channels right the way up to people who have big channels. If I see something I'm not happy with, I say it, right? And yeah. and I and I'm I'm one of those sorts of people, you know. I because the way I've kind of dealt with things over the years is if I bottle things up inside, right, it makes me feel bad. And I'm just I'm carrying that weight around all the time, and it's just gnawing away at me. I would rather, yeah. if I've got a problem with somebody, I just go, "Mate, what's going on?" Yeah. Yeah. Now the only reason I haven't done this with this guy is because I thought yeah. it was all this. So I was like, try and forget it. That's the only reason I didn't de deal with it like that. You know, I'm dealing yeah. with it now. I'm dealing with it now. Yeah. 
maybe I should have dealt with it a bit earlier on, you know. But there we are. I um, know. Just... I'd rather say I'd rather say to, I've I've said to some of the big, uh, you know, YouTubers like you know not not all of them, <laughs> but like some of the big YouTubers. I said like you know, I'm not comfortable with this. You know, I'm not comfortable yeah. with some of this, and um, you know. And it's like you know, it's some some of it's because I don't want to put people's lives at risks as, as well. You know, I mean, I have to, I've said to them, I said, well, all right, we could do this, but I'm telling you, this is not a good idea. But you know, all right then, but don't fucking come complaining like, oh, well, you, you were the captain of the boat, and you should know, you should have said no. It's like you're all going, go on, go on, and it's like, mm, you know, yeah, and it's like you know, I, I, I was like. When it's been ridiculously bad, I've told people no way on hell, you know, on earth, no way in hell or on earth are we doing that now because you're insane, you know. I mean, but they're going, oh, come on, come on. I was like, I said, look, if I did, if I took you out on the boat right now, you would be, you would be, take me back in in a second, in a heartbeat. You'd shit yeah. yourselves, right? And it sort of happened. I hope they're not watching, but they will. And I don't care. I'll fucking say it. But the point is, like, it happened. That happened, right? <clears throat> okay. Recently, it happened recently. I I said I'm comfortable with this level of waves and shit and chop and all that, right? I'm comfortable with this. Yeah. Uh, and they went okay, and they literally went out about two or three minutes out. They went no, back. And I went really. And they were like, no, 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 don't like this. And I was like, this, you know, it's cool. It's totally cool. No, 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 no. And I was like, ah, no. You wanted to go out on days when we would have been fucking four feet up in the for, well, four meters up in the air and down, and this yeah, is just one exactly, one meter yeah. up in the air and down. This is just yeah. one meter. And you wanted to go out on days with, with four, so I've had yeah. to call it on some occasions. But the thing is, it's like there is this kind of um, you know, like oh, like Steve O <clears> type <throat> sort of thing of like oh, go on, let's push it, let's push it, and it's like oh, you know, it's only so yeah. far you can push it, you know. But anyway. Bless them, because I mean, like you know, some people have got their limits, and and uh, I don't blame them because until you've got your sea legs, or until you've got, you know, people say like, oh, I'd love to come up in your micro light with you, Matt, you know, and I say, well, I'll take you on a nice calm evening when the winds are very still, because then it'll be like glass up there, and it'll be like you you won't even know you're in the air. I said, but if I take you up in the middle of the day. Right, lunchtime when the sun is out, right? Even though the, the bumps we're feeling are no worse than you'd feel in a car, yeah, you will think they're 20 times worse than a car. And oh, think yeah, the world yeah. When. you think you literally yeah. think the world is ending, and you'll be like, Get me down, get me down. I've seen it so, so many times, I've seen it yeah. happen. You've got to introduce people to these things slowly because otherwise, you frighten them off, you know. Yeah, um, they can't tolerate the, the level of sort of you know bumps and shit that i can just put up with you know yeah. and it takes time to kind of get you get acclimatized to that so they had a little taste and a few of them just went oh fuck that i'll, I'll just uh <laughs> it was like no i totally get that but uh, you know, it's uh yeah. it's a shame you know it's a shame because um we could have just swapped the days around. I told them, don't do it this day, do it this day. And they go, and they were like, no, we want to be there and do this. Yeah. Went, but if you swap today for tomorrow, we do that today and that tomorrow, we'll have a nice day there and a nice day there. And they went, oh, no, but we want to do this today and that tomorrow. And I went, all right, then, well, this will be okay today, and that's going to be horrible tomorrow. And that yeah. was nice, yeah. and that was horrible. And they then, you know, but I did give them the chance to swap it, but they were like, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. It's like today, yeah. I had to cancel an urbex because it was snowing. Yeah. Would you want to take your truck and jackknife? Like there was a big truck, jack, jackknife, um, articulated lorry, jackknife on the road from Marlborough to Devizes. Block yeah. the road off because he's feeling under pressure because it's his job and he's going down on the, he's on the snow. And of course, you could lose, you, even if you're driving in straight line, you could just lose control. Yeah. You know? So I cancelled it this morning. I could have driven on the snow, but I'd have been. 20 times concentration having to be really careful, uh, slow in it, yeah. the stress is just not worth it i said no i'll, I'll put yeah. it off till tomorrow i'll i'll put the, the explorer off till tomorrow yeah i've actually got three, three people wanting to jump on um okay. 
I'm going to add these uh, people on. Uh, we've got some feedback there, TJ. <laughs> Shouldn't have. Oh, Hello, TJ. Now. We've never met, but uh, I am. Yeah. And we've got Michael. Aware, Hill, aware of you. And then. Hey, you are, you are, you are, you are. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi, Matt. Well. Hi, Matt. You okay? I'm all, all right. right. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm all right. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, come over and say hi. Are you in Scotland, yeah. lad? I'm in Scotland. Yeah, aye. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. I've, I've got my dress yeah. on and everything. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm a proper Scot. I've got no underwear on neither. <laughs> brilliant. Oh, yeah. blimey. Yeah. How is everybody okay? I'm in a little rant. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I feel better now, actually. I've got it off my chest. I was quite, yeah. I was, I was raging a bit earlier on, but yeah, I actually feel a bit better now. I just don't know yeah. about Yeah. It, it, your video with the mic right, Matt. I enjoyed watching that. It was fantastic when you were flying. It, that was brilliant. That was yeah, absolutely. I watched, I thought, is that your mic right? Yes. Yeah. Have you still got that? No. Oh. Because some. Motherfucker slashed the wings on it. Oh my wow. god! Yeah, so I haven't had it for a long time because I thought if I go and buy another aircraft, you're gonna get some fucking wanker who wants to ruin your fucking life. Yeah, here we go again. Yeah, yeah. somebody came I down have... and slashed up and down the wings. Right. When he had me off road, when he had me mm. Land Rover on the road, it's a big off roader, and I parked outside and I was. Constantly, every night, somebody was trying to nick it or do something to it. The tyres was like three hundred pound a piece, and it's like, no, no. That's why he's left in the workshop. Just do little bits now and again. It's, it's People, hard, you know, if you've got something that you love, there's always mm. somebody, somebody that wants to ruin it, and it's, yeah. it's horrible. It really is. I haven't got much money in my life, but you know, every penny I've got, I'll spend a fortune on certain things that I love. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I used to tell everyone years ago, I used to tell everyone where I lived, here's my address, and I never even used to lock the door. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've had so much stuff happen to me now. You've yeah. got the new the new me is no you're not finding out where I live. And I'm gonna yeah. meet you somewhere else. I'll meet you somewhere, you know, and don't even like giving my telephone number out these days, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've so, stalk urban, urban stalkers who ring me, stalkers who ring me all the fucking time. It's all right; they just go straight through to answer phone. But I've had that for tw twenty odd years as well, continuous, wow. continuously. Police, wow, very little they can do about it. Stalker got in my house when I wasn't there, locked herself in my house, had to be t sectioned, taken into the local mental ward, and then just carries on ringing me and ringing me. I changed my number; she got my new number, so it just carries on. <laughs> just stop that. Yeah, he does stop that effect on people, Matthew. Just stop that effect on people. Well, if you want to know what, what I did, what, you know. what did I do? If you want to know in a nutshell, I can tell you what did I do wrong to this person, right? They saw me on a TV program where I was talking about the Santillian alien body on a table, the alien autopsy, right? Yeah. I said, <laughs> yeah. I, in my opinion, and I gave my reasons, I thought it was fake. Oh, if I did. That's why I had that stalker. That was why I had the stalker. So wow, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, you go, when you go in, when you go into public eye and you go on TV programs and put your point of view across, you're gonna have people who love you and you have people who hate you. And the people who love you love you, and the people who hate you want to fucking kill you. Yeah. Like, a, like, a, like a Jeremy Kyle, seen that Jeremy Kyle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, all I can say is, I mean, it's it's horrible, and I'm I, I I feel very sorry for people who have to put up with that, like you know, because they've got a public eye. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's yeah. fucking it's rubbish, really. But what do you do? What can you do? I mean, yeah, I, I'm, some... not, I'm not I'm not anyone special, you know. Like I'm not fucking <laughs> who the fuck am I? Like you know. So, I don't consider myself special. You just do so, whatever yeah, else. You know, uh, Matt, I'm, everybody I'm, else, you, you're like a, a an urbex god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I met Matt at Sammy's house. Me, yeah, yeah. Dan Dixon has got what two hundred odd thousand 
things and that, but I, I, out of all of them, I'd rather meet you than him because I think you're very like you're there. You are Matt. You know what I mean? You you, you like you've just done tonight. You've said what you've had to say, and then now it's like you know what I mean. It, we we are all waiting for the follow up, mm. but uh, it's uh, yeah. You, you know what I mean? You you are very intelligent, uh, as uh, Paranormal Six 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 has just said. Uh, someone also said you're a very uh, good looking bloke. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was a woman though, Matt. So don't worry about that. <laughs> well, you have to spoil it, didn't you? Sorry. Yeah, but you are straight, you are straight to the point now. You know what I mean? You are. If you don't, we're saying you are, You've got to be. If you're not straight to the point first, you know what I mean. You've got to, have not you? I mean, no, so does anything to you. You've got to be straight to the point. Yeah, I mean, I was I was kind of worried about talking about the crop circle stuff because, but people kept on asking me like, "What about your history?" Well, the last twenty years of my life is crop circle. So if you want to see what I've been doing for the last twenty years, well, yeah. here's my micro light, here's some crop circle stuff, and yeah. lo and behold, you know, there's not many people viewed that crop circle stuff. And my mates were, for the last twenty years have told me, "Matt, why are you wasting your time doing these crop circles?" I go, "Because I believe in it." And they're like, "Nah, nobody nobody gives a shit about them." And they were like. We're telling you as a friend, Matt, it's, it's gone. It's a waste of time. Nobody's interested in it. You are wasting your time. And the thing is, it's like, I think they're right. Even though I do believe in it, I think they're right. And that's oh, a hard I, pill. To, that's a hard pill to swallow that you just I, literally wasted your wasted that amount of your life, like, you know, on something well, that I, only yeah. a few people are interested in. There's 20 billion Christians. But I believe that Jesus is alive and God, mm. and is he? <laughs> yeah. you know, is he prove it COVID-19 Jesus is with you where's he been <laughs> uh, Luke White has put uh, Matt is the David Attenborough of exploring world <laughs> <laughs> well I suppose um, yeah he, he didn't used to know very much about um, what he does now no he didn't uh, he didn't know if you look at the old videos of him when he was young yeah, I mean, he, he's just literally landed on his feet, you know. And I mean, it's like, I don't know much about the things I go and do. But I try and do yeah. a little bit of research beforehand and I make a lot of assumptions. But, you know, ultimately, he's got a bloody a whole team of people writing the scripts and he reads them out, you know. It's like... It's how he presents it, though, isn't it, as well? Well, that, that's, you know, it's that's down to his production crew making it look so bloody good and making it, editing it, making him sound brilliant, putting him in locations all over the world so we could look at an ant nest. <laughs> you know, it's like, I mean, you can't help but be wowed, but, I mean... You must think he... what Joe Sell batteries in the back of him, because I'll tell you what, if he, last year, was it last year, he just signed a £5 million contract with Netflix <laughs> at 97, yeah. what is this? You know, so he's doing all right, I think... <laughs> You know, the, the funny thing is, right, I mean, it's like a lot of things out there. I know a lot of things that people would find, like, what? They go, like, nah. And it's like, you know, you've got your UFOs, your crop circles, your this, your that, your coronavirus, your, th you know, conspiracies, da 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 And you tell people, and they go, like, you what? Like, like, like you must be a mental patient. Like, like, who was it? Johnny Rotten, years ago, warned everybody about Jimmy Savile. And everybody and went... So did the, the guy from like, the state yeah. well. You know, and he was uh, right. Was you know? Yeah. And it's like, you, you know, there's a lot of people, like, try to say things over the years and they're not listened to until, you know, years yeah. later you go, oh, Yeah. But you, here's the funny... I'll just give you this little bit of insight then because you mentioned uh, David Attenborough. What did he used to do years ago before he started doing things for the BBC? What What was his background? Because he had a very interesting background, and it would be not what you think. Well, it might be. I don't know. What do you think his background was? It is connected with animals, but when you find out, you go, really? Oh, I... Was it dermatology? Was it like... Derm... What was skin. it? Skin. So, Derm... Dermatology, like skin. What's he doing? With am... uh, the... What's he stuffing animals when they're dead animals? Uh... It, it, that might be part of it, yes, but um, he yeah. was a uh, he was an animal trader in right. danger, endangered species, and a lot okay, of right. and a lot of things that you know today we frown at. You know, we say 
you shouldn't be treating animals like that and doing things. And a lot of people can't believe it because they're like, and the people in the um, animal rights movement have said, well, we give it, we give him a free pass on that one because the stuff he does now brings the animal world so much to life that it actually makes people want to appreciate nature more. Wow. But what he was doing back that that back then was not good. He was out Jeez. getting lions and shooting lions and, you know, trading various, you know, animals and endangered this and endangered, you know, he was and you can you can think I'm I'm a men I'm fucking I'm <coughs> talking out of my ass, but yeah, there's a lot of people. If you go and speak to people who are heavily involved in the animal rights movement, you say, Oh, yeah. David Attenborough, they'll go, Yeah. Well, at least he's doing some good now. And they'll tell you, they'll go, Yeah, at least he's doing some good now. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, he's got a free pass. I can kind of live with that because he has. He's trying now. He's left his pass behind him, so you know. Uh, it's uh, it, that, that's good. so he actually go out, Hi, used to go out hunting. Hi, so. Yeah, or you know, if 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 he wasn't doing it himself, he was paying people to do it for him and was trading in animals, bringing animals oh, wow. to to zoos. You know, bringing them from their natural habitats, dumping them in zoos, bringing animals across live or dead for, you know, whatever purpose. What do you want? Do you want an animal? Do you want it live or dead? I can get it for you. Yeah. Uh, mm. That's crazy, is that, to say what he does now, isn't it, really? It is. It's like, really? You know, is this the same guy? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, like I say, there's not an awful lot out there because the uh, animal rights community have just kind of let him have a free pass on it. Yeah. You know? But yeah, it's it is a bit it is a bit weird. But I mean, you know, people people love Clarkson, you know, or hate Clarks and, and, and Top Gear. But I mean, what does Top Gear tell you? You know, tells you like drive around at 150 miles an hour. Look at these cars; it'll do 200 miles an hour. So it's like, well, you know, what road cars? And I mean, you know, it's like you know, they it's like you know, why do they have why do they have a TV program called Top Drugs? You know where you get where you get three or four presenters who tell you the best way to take drugs. You know, and so like, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's all right, folks. This is how you do it. You know, so you make it. We'll show you how to make it. You know, but it's like, but it's all right because it's just cars, and everyone likes cars. I've, you know, I watched your video the other day on that. Uh, the is it the Ebola drone or something? The uh, but it yeah. drone footage. Want drone footage? Want it? I think. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, that was cool. That. I, I drive around like a maniac, so I, I can't speak. But what I'm saying is the hypocrisy of how some things are okay, but some things are not okay. And mm. yeah. mm. uh, Natalie, uh, Love Clarkson, Mayan Hammond. Yeah, you, you, it seems from the chat, you, you seem to love a lot of people. <laughs> I, I, I like it because they're, they're sort of argumentative with each other so they, they represent the various views of the sort of public in some ways Yeah, you know and it's like so you watch them battling it out and it's like as if you know they're sort of, you're kind of there with them sort of like I like it you know yeah but, have, have you got uh, Amazon Prime yes have you watched their new stuff yes Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's. I mean, I mean, Amazon, the Amazon Prime stuff that they have on them, them shows that they do. That one, uh, what what it called, Seaman or something like that, where they've mm. got these boats and stuff. I mean, that they, the money that they have to spend on them episodes is is just, it, it's millions and millions of pounds. I mean, yeah. what did Clarkson's boat cost something like three million or something? What he, what he had made. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, the, the only problem with those sorts of programs, and you, you learn this if you've had any time around television productions of any type, is that they start those programs with a script and then they make the accidents happen for the script. And then they oh, get okay. out of the accidents. They get out of the accidents with the stuff that was already waiting in the wings because it was part of the script. It's all planned. I mean, the, the thing is, is it, you, you get this. I get disappointed because I've seen how television works. I've seen it from the other side of the camera, and it's like, you know, yeah. yeah, you know, it, you, you know, it's like the Bear Grylls thing. Everyone says, "Oh, yeah," but he stays in a hotel. Yeah, of course he does. Duh, you know, like everyone thinks yeah. he stays there in a tent, like eating insects. He's like, no, he does that for the camera. Then he fucks off to the hotel. Of course he does. Yeah, after he's Every... drunk a full, a full snake of piss. When he's when he finished <laughs> the piss out of the snake, then he goes to the hotel. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
He deserves to stop in the hotel when he's drunk a snake full of his own piss. Oh, God. But at the end of the day, if that's what's going to save your life, that's what's going to save your life, isn't it? You know what I mean? Well, can you, you know, can, what, what's what's real and what's not real? Is it piss? Is it a real snake? <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I don't, exactly, you know, you yeah. just don't, you really just don't know. Because, I mean, a lot of that stuff is, yeah, yeah. prepared in advance. Yeah. It's not just a fly on the wall. At least Fred Dibner was real. Yeah, Fred Dibner was real. It was real, yeah. It was a dude in. Health and safety there on the gym. We must have. He had a big pair of balls as well, climbing up them shit <laughs> yeah. ladders on the side of them buildings. I couldn't, of them. couldn't do half of that. No. No. God. Never. I've Imagine been to his air. Knocking one of them chimneys down brick by brick. Oh my god! No thanks. I've been to his house where he grew up, and he put, he built a chimney on top of it. And the local council tried to have the chimney knocked down. So, yeah. But now it's the, uh, I think it's listed. The building's actually what? listed. Put the chimney on oh, top. Okay. It's amazing. <laughs> it's, a, it's an amazing site actually. It sticks out. It, it's it's amazing. Whereabouts is that? Somewhere in Bolton, I can't remember where we were, but I was—I went up there, and it's just mad. So wow. we went back a bit. Yeah. Mm. It's a massive chimney pot. Sorry, sorry, did you GTR. Do? Sorry, GTR. He, he says your stream got hijacked. I fully admit, I, yeah, it did hijack his stream with more bullshit drama. But you'll get a lot of views from it, so... All publicity can, is good publicity. can you actually hear me now? Yes. I can hear you now, yeah. yeah. Right, you not, I, I've come up... Okay? Hello, everybody. Um, Hello. Hello. I've come up because <laughs> Matt doesn't really know me, um, no, I but I, I've been watching lots with Matt on, and I know that Matt likes somebody that is straight point, as is, no ifs, buts, if they've got something to say, they'll say it, or they'll ask a question. You seemed a bit dubious then, <laughs> Urban Lab, so I'm, right. I'm like, I'm, I'm just getting ready to mute you. <laughs> I'm getting ready to mute no, you. No, 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 hey, no. Hey, listen, I, d I can't mute anything because of what's <laughs> already been said. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know what it's like. I know it can be a total ass to have people, it just massive arguments over stupidity, and you get dragged in, and you don't want to be dragged in. Okay. Oh, yeah. and listen, then I haven't been dragged in. I'm, I'm, I'm letting people uh, sort out their... Yeah. No, yeah, I, I mean, mean personally, like... I've been dragged in several occasions on something because I've had... Oh, okay, people, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And and it's like, there's nothing I can do. It's between them, not me. Yeah. But then I get dragged in the middle of it and then other people look at me in a different way. Yeah. And then I sort of feel really bad because of the way they're acting with me and I've done yeah. nothing. Um, which is why I've come on because I really want to speak to Secret Vault because we've never met. Um, and you I know, I've seen I'll, some I'll of be, your videos, I have seen you out there yeah, on some of your um, videos. I, I will be honest, and, and a lot of people won't be honest, you know, but I'll be honest. When you first started Urbex, like really early in the days. And, and like all of us, we make mistakes and, and we do stupid things. Do you know what I mean? We've all done it. And I did think you were a twat. I'll be honest. Do you know what wow. I mean? I think, I, think, no, I think a lot of people do, to be honest. Whoa. Hang on, guys. No, Hang on. Because, no, really, I'm being really 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 honest. I'm being honest. going again. No, no, no. Absolutely. No, we're not. <laughs> you, you are it's saying what getting. most people say. Yeah, and then... You I know, come we all are. like a bit of an abrasive, arrogant twat. Yeah, 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 and and it was like I had my own opinion, but I still carried on watching what you were doing and trying to get to know you, other than what I thought, you know. Mm. And and I'm, I admit, you've grown, you you've changed a lot. Um, I'd say more in the last two years than anything. You've changed a lot, um, which was nice to see. You know, because we're not far away from each other anyway, you know, and I've oh, known yeah, people that have met you and said, yeah. they've said to me, hilarious. yeah, that you're you're a nice guy and you're nothing like you used to be. And I'm like, right, okay. Um, and it would be nice to meet. 
Then, mm. obviously, we've gone on to these other terms that have happened recently. And I just oh. want to put, you know, <laughs> don't say, mm. oh, urban lad, because it's not. Oh. Oh. It was just, it was just, I know Matt, and Matt has this, this, this way sometimes of, um, if I say, so, if I, if I'm going to say it, I'll say it straight out. Matt sometimes will just make you feel very small in a clever way. Um, and he did on Taffy's live one night to me and it, it's ever since then, it's bugged me and I've wanted to talk to Matt. Mm -hmm. Because I've done no exactly wrong. exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. I, I, I've Drag done all the shit out of my show. No, 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 no. I've right. done no wrong. And what I'm saying oh, is sometimes... You can get viewers. Just you, take, oh, yeah. the views. take the views. Sometimes <laughs> you can judge people on, on this platform mm. very much by all the bickering and the stirring in the background... And it's getting before that you've way even, yeah, with me. Before because... you've even met someone. And, and it's hard. You know, I'm trying and... to suppress it, but it's it's not me. It's not like me to suppress that. It's it's really hard for me to suppress it because I've had twenty years of just going rah, yeah, yeah. and I've been yeah. really trying to just just do the urbex and shh, don't don't deal with that. But it's Sorry. it's difficult. It is difficult. And then, like I say, you get somebody that's never met another urbexer, mm -hmm. but they're friends with others that have then. Sorry. They've all club done this, and they one goes for one, and one goes for another, and then you get drawn in the middle, and it's yeah. it's crazy, you know. It does get petty, but but the but the, but the way, again, all all I'm really hoping is just people just you know just do one, saying this, is just do one, off. yeah, just fuck off, and we just both fuck off and just leave each other alone and fucking just fuck off, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. And then we'll, you have your nice, happy life, and I'll have my nice, happy life. But the thing is, it's like, you know, it seems like people are just gnawing at me, you know, all the fucking time. And I have to go, oi! <laughs> and then it's like, they go, oh, you know, it's like, you know, well, yeah. Yeah. Please, fuck off. I do, I do <laughs> think sometimes, though, when you watch you, is I think some of the community, mm. you can see they, they're doing it. They know you're going to bite. Yeah. So they, they give you information, just little bits, mm. you know, and they know what you're going to do. It's like loading the gun for you to fire. <laughs> and it, and yeah. it's sad. It's sad because then oh, people come a lot to me of the and time, they say, I've got this problem. Will you have a go at somebody and, and fucking li literally physically go and tell them what for and sort this out because they can't sort shit out for themselves. So I end, I end up like, the you know, I'm just the fucking the, the whipping boy for loads of things I've done over the years. And then I get really behind it, and I'm like, you know, this is wrong, you know, and I'm like, you know, there. So it becomes like a fucking political campaign, you know, and it's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I seem to be good at getting the airing it so people can then decide what they want to do with that, you know. But I don't think I really want to, you know, I don't want to keep doing it all the time. It's just, it, it is stress, it is stressy. But I seem to have lived the whole of my life, you know, in that sort of frame of mind, one way or another. So, you know, it's like, where did I ever think I was going to have a nice, quiet retirement? Eh, it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, so you've just got to be careful who, who you go out with and and how how close you, you, how tight you get, because that's when the problems start. Well, look, at the end of the day, you know, we, we go out there and we do things and we know things, but, you know, there are gentlemen's agreements, like, you know, I'll watch your back, you watch mine, you know, you see things going on you don't like, you, you, you zip it, you know, and vice versa. But, you know, it's like, um, yeah, some people, they just sort of like... You know, ooh, ooh, I've got, I've got fucking, I've got some sort of like info or some goss or something I can fucking stir up some shit. And it's like, okay, I mean, you know, all I'm going to say is does, does a bear shit in the fucking woods? You know, you know, people, people have got this rosy idea of the way everything is, you know, and, and behind the scenes, there's loads of things go on that people do not know about, good and bad. Yeah. And it's like, you know, when people come along and they go like, oh, well, this is the way it is. And it's like, well, you can't you can't just come out and tell people how it actually is, because then you're breaking all these confidences about, you know, things that can't be said. And that's the thing that bugs the shit out of me, because it's like you end up having to, you know, answer 
people without being able to really say what you know, you know, yeah. and yeah. and it's kind of like so. It is very, um, yeah. It, it can be awkward sometimes, but the thing is, it's like we we have we do what we do and we step on people's toes and we piss people off because that's what we do. Cause hey, what, you know, we're not meant to be where we're, where we're going, doing what we're doing. And, you know, it's like, yeah, people get pissed off, you know, so there is always going to be somebody pissed off, but it's like, when you get the people around you thinking, Oh, I'll just fucking jump on this bandwagon and just have a fucking pop. It's like, really? You know, it's like, we, I thought, I thought that some of the people I went on explores with, were, we were tighter than that. But then you get all these people you never even met having a go at you. And then these people will take sides with the people you don't know and they'll fucking be feeding them information to fucking have a pop. So it's just like one big fucking wind up. You know, it is just one big wind up. And at the end of the day, you know, I will still carry on doing what I'm doing. And I've been doing it for a lot longer than any of these people out there who are like, you know, on the scene. I mean, fucking, I've been doing I've been doing urbex and <laughs> filming and things for, for longer than some of these Toss, tossers are fucking been born. I mean, yeah. going going way back, <laughs> I used to speak. <laughs> I used to speak to you way back. Uh, you probably mm. forgot that with the crop circles, and I used to ask you if there was any that were there that I could come in drone footage. Mm. Um, and you'd say to me, "No, they they've gone or they they're not real." You tell me. Do you know mm. what I mean? And and that's going way back. So. You know, I've been watching you from then. Yeah. And, well, the it, you is, know, it's... If somebody wants to live in, a, like, a fairy tale land, I, I say to them, you know, if you really want to know, I'll tell you. But then you have to look them and see whether or not they go... You could see that they're going, oh, because they kind of, like, they don't really want you to tell them. You can, you can spot it, and then you go, like... And then you just focus it on the positives for them. And they go, oh, and it brings them back to life. You know, they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but the thing is, it, it pushes a lot of people over at the edge of a cliff. So you kind of got to say to people, do you really want me to tell you what I know? You know, because I don't want to be responsible for how you're going to feel when I tell you what I know. Yeah. But let's focus on the positive stuff. But I'm, I don't want to lie to you. You know, I don't want to lie to you. But once you take it all in, hopefully you come through the other side and you're okay. And a lot of people aren't, you know, okay. It's hurt a lot of people. The truth has hurt a lot of people in that subject. But I would rather not lie to people. I can yeah. just avoid. I can avoid telling them the whole truth. But that's not lying, you know. Still, yeah. yeah. I'm just avoiding the, the 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 one piece of the jigsaw puzzle that they don't want, you know. So, so with, do you not? Because I, I at the moment I'm like not going out and doing anything as such because. It's just so much stress. Are you not finding it so stressful at the moment? Not really. I was there with the police the other night, and I wish I'd, I wish I'd secretly recorded them. To be honest, but you know, we could have walked away. People said to me, "Like, why didn't you just walk away?" And it's like, well, because we were promised the opportunity to go and see something by the security guards. So whilst they were making us cups of tea, we knew they'd call the police because, of course, they're trying to fucking delay us. And we said, "Look, come on, guys, we know. Come on, I would, I've been doing this twenty-five years." You know, come on, you know, just admit you called the police. And they're like, yeah, we did. It's our job. And I said, there you go. I said, I'm not fucking, I'm not going to walk away. I can walk away. You couldn't stop me, but I'm not going to. <clears throat> I'm comfortable with you because you promised you were going to show me the shit. So you're going to pop, you're going to, you're going to be true to your word. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And he was, but it was almost like, you know, he was, you know, is to play these silly fucking games, you know, as long as they're not going to take us in a, in a room and punch us up, I don't give a shit, you know, but it's like, yeah. So, but the point, the point there, what was the point of that in telling you that is um, somebody said, like, why don't you, uh, you know, why do you go towards those sorts of stressy situations, you know, like, um, and I, I could have just got away, you know, and I didn't have to speak to the police. I actually wanted to. <laughs> I don't give a shit, you know, because I know the police are just going to let us go. They, they, they said, oh, we're going to give you a COVID fine. I said, well, you, you, I said, no, you're going to give me a piece of paper that says that that I should be fined, but that's not an actual fine, yeah, because that will get squashed. I said, so, yeah. and, he, and they said, no, 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 we are giving you a COVID fine. And I said, no, 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 the words fine, we are giving you a fine, means that I have been fined. 
but I haven't been fined. This is a piece of paper telling me that you think I should be fined and that will be overturned. So I won't actually be fined. So what you're going to try to do is attempt to give me a fine. No, we're giving you a fine. I said, no, attempting to give me a fine. That piece of paper, I will accept it. And they said, oh, it's going to be emailed to you. I said, fine. But it will be squashed. So just telling you, you're wasting your time. I can show you now why it will be squashed. So you can actually save yourself a bit of time. You know? And I, and I won't have to make a complaint about them for the fact that they refused to look at the evidence that I could have given them there on the spot of why I was there. And, and my legitimacy for why I was there. But they didn't want to know. So, okay. So, all right, then, uh, these security guards want to waste your time in a COVID thing by bringing a load of extra people into contact with people just to make themselves feel good. And you now, pissed off because you've had to come out all this way, are going to teach us a lesson, like talking down to us, like, you know, school teachers, like, no, 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 you can't do this, you can't do that. I said, I can. I can actually do what I want. And I'm not told what I can do by you. And I said, I don't mean that in a nasty way, but you literally don't tell me what to do and I'm actually following the rules and I can do what I'm doing right now in the same way that you are you're doing what you've been told you were allowed to do I'm doing what I'm doing because I'm allowed to do it so if you want to say that I can't then I'm just going to say well there we go I'm allowed to do it and that will get squashed so you you're all you're doing is you're wasting my time because I've wasted because I've wasted your time because the security guards have wasted your time but, you know, like the security guards should learn they don't have to call you. And you should learn you don't have to try and teach me a lesson when I'm offering to show you evidence and you go, I'm not interested because, you know, you know, you know, we're all just playing games, wasting each other's time. And they were like, oh, and they were like, you know, and I was like, you know, you can arrest us if you want. Take us down the station. We'll all waste each other's time for hours and paperwork and the whole fucking nine yards if you want. You know, don't make no difference to me, you know. I want to go and see the stuff that the security guard promised us to show us. You know, that's why I stayed. And they're like, oh, 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 like that. And it's like, because, you know, they, 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 it doesn't psych me. You know, and I know I've got a bad attitude, but I've been doing this long enough to not be psyched by it. So, you know, you know, the, all these people want to get a rise out of me. But, but what ends up happening is it ends up just the, the, the shit lands back on their doorstep. You know, like idiot from Swindon is like, nah, 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 nah. So he's had the police around his house three times. And if I bother to ring him and put another statement into them, he'll have them going around arresting him. So I haven't done that one yet because it's like, you know, and it'll just set him off again on another cycle and then more police and another cycle and more police and he'll be arrested and we'll go to court and I'll come in as a witness and we'll bring all the evidence. And it's like, yeah, we'll just make a fucking big almighty fucking shit shit heap out of it a shitty you know yeah because then they feel you know justified that they, they've they've done their, their their little bit you know to try and take me down a peg great who's taken down a peg i'm not taking down a peg you know give you know if you want to if you want to stick something on me like that idiot earlier <laughs> on if you want to stick something on me that sticks great but yeah. it just keeps backfiring on these people who fucking try it. It just keeps backfiring and backfiring. I mean, yeah. It's just so, crazy. It's just mm. absolutely crazy. I mean, you anyway, know. I came in to talk to Matt, to be honest. Go and bully, oh, go and bully oh, somebody who's easy to bully. Go and bully somebody who's easy to bully. Don't bully me. <laughs> I'm not easy to bully. <laughs> no, I came in because I needed to, to talk and say, you know, I, as far as I'm concerned, it is what it is. Nothing to do with me, and it was never. And and I'm cool with everything. You know, I, it, it's just not. It's I, it's unneeded I think in the stress. Day, things were said that probably people wouldn't say under normal circumstances. But in in the you know things were said. You mm. know that it's unfortunate, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It happened, and and that, it happens that's, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is you know. this is not not well. You know, I I'm I'm like backing up a mate and uh and so you know it's all it's all fucking wrong isn't it really at the end of the day yeah um, it's just yeah. people get like say people getting pulled in mm. and they didn't need to be yeah. so yeah but no urban lad you know i love you loads all right i come up and said hello to you as well <laughs> yeah. 
And look, but at the end I of the just... day, I hope that you and they all have a nice time, you know, but we've got, we, luckily, I think the, it's got stopped. That got stopped. And there yeah. is no, there. Is, I'm not saying anything. Other people are not saying anything. It, you know. It's done. It's it done as far as I know. It's stopped. And that's how yeah. things should be when it stopped. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. It's absolutely fine. I wish everyone the, the best of health and, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. best outcome, really. But anyway, yeah. everybody that's on the panel. Yeah. Hi. Thanks. Okay. Hello. And I am going to get off. I've talked with Matt now, so. It's off. It's off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't, hey. leave your, don't leave your camera on when you get off, because I did do that a lot. Right, okay. So when you get off, don't leave the camera on, because... Matt, yeah. are you just telling us now that you actually get off on the camera? <laughs> when I think didn't just I'm say off, that. when I think <laughs> I'm off, I do things that shouldn't be on camera. And everyone oh, thinks okay. I'm doing them on purpose, and I, it's, no, it's, I'm literally stupid sometimes. Right. Yeah. And I've left no. the camera on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll yeah. do it. I can see it. it says stop cam. So yeah. <laughs> which, is why, which is why I have a physical thing. If I don't want to be seen, normally I go like that. Don't trust what's on the yeah. screen and whether it says that's not active and that's active and not active. You know, put plasticine or sellotape on it. You know it's safe. If it's if it's facing you, it's looking at you, and so is the rest of the world. Don't believe that it's not. It probably is. Right. Okay. Yeah, I've been doing, I've doing this. I've been front of me yeah, telling exactly. me tell it in front of my computer then, yeah. haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> Don't start doing that, you know, and, and various other things because you're just not a good idea. Right. Okay. I remember yeah. that. <laughs> and I've not done that, by the way, but it's been close. Yeah. Uh, so, DJ, <laughs> out of the conversation you've got from uh, Matt, what you've got is don't masturbate yourself when your laptop's open. Put plasticine yeah. or a bit of sellotape on the, the camera. I mean, where where else would I get that? Well, advice? Google will record it. Google will record it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I thought everybody knew this, and I and I should because I'm into computers. I should know it more than everybody else. But I'm like, right, I'm gonna go and get. I like the other night. I'm gonna go and get a drink. I'll be back in a minute. And I thought I switched it off. It's off. Hmm. Yeah. 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 And then I'm watching people are going. People are going like, "What is he? What's he doing there?" And I'm lucky. I'm lucky because, like I say, I mean, you know, my I've 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 already had a strike for showing my genitals, and on on YouTube. So I don't want to wish I I'd come close to it two times after that because I just wasn't aware the camera was actually still on. Yep. And you like exposing yourself. No, <laughs> not really. Not really. I've, I've, I've glossed over it after it's happened, and <laughs> inside I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiet. <laughs> I'm an idiot. There's 65 people on my uh, uh, on my live now, so it's like only 65 people would see your penis. When you do a live, there's like hundreds and hundreds on. So it's like. Half of the Urbex community has seen your penis, buddy. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And, and, and right. I, I haven't seen it yet, but uh, maybe one day. <laughs> Somebody's got... No, they are, they, because they sent it to me, and there are people who've got photos, even though I deleted the stream. But the thing is, I mean, that particular event, I, I, I decided I was going to do a stream in the bath, so I set the camera up like that on a tripod, and I lined yeah. it up so that I was in my screen they couldn't see from, like, year down. And yeah. I'm in the bath and all that. And they're going, no, we can see so much more that isn't in your screen. We can see all the way. And I'm like, what? But I'm like, it's not there. And they go, no, 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 no. And then he showed me photos. It's like, nope, they can see right the way down there. I might as well just gone yeah. like that. Here we are. Yeah. I'm in the bath. <laughs> oh, really? It's like, no, it wasn't intended to be like that. Because I was swear it was not supposed to be like that. But they were all like, like that. And then they were going, Matt, Matt. You, like, you, can't, you, can't, you can't see me. And they go, we can, we can. I was like, all right. Then so I looked. You know, and it was like looked at it afterwards, and was like, "Oh, for fuck's sake! Don't trust what you think is on the camera. When you think it's like that, it might be like that. It might be much bigger than you think." Are oh, you yeah. saying that now? I better put it away then, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. On that note, I'm going to get off. Um, yeah. Thanks for letting me on, and uh, right, yeah. No
Cheers, and, Matt. And, and don't get off. Remember to turn the camera off. Yeah, I will yeah, do. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Take care, All right. everyone. All right. Take care. Good night. Bye. Yeah. Bye, Matt. Is there, okay. Does anybody else want to ask uh, Matt any questions? Well, he's on here. God, look at him. Taking it. <laughs> taking it. Close off. What? Oh, oh God. <laughs> what? TJ, your camera's she, she still on. She didn't listen to me. What the hell? Shout out for Magpie. <laughs> on my bed TJ, scene. where did you buy batteries from that fuck? <laughs> if people started like sending comments going like, we can still see you, TJ, she'd be like, like me, like, no, no. And then, oh, they're actually just joking. But with me, it's like, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I, I did. It's, it's like the comments, like, ah. I, I, I did get uh, a couple of messages from people. Uh, in fact, it was probably 12 people. Did you see Matt's live last night? Oh, no, I fell asleep and that, yeah. So did he. Everybody saw his cock. I was like, what? What? <laughs> yeah. Rick Murphy had his cock out. I was like, no. Hi, then, random TV. You okay? Yeah. Uh, We're doing it, right? It's weird. Golden's alive. Uh, yeah, who, who is this what? chap down here? By the way, sorry, I haven't. I sorry, I haven't sorry, to sorry I have to get out. Oh, sorry. sorry, let me let me just uh, get his name up there. Ah, abandoned exploring Mike. Yeah, um, yeah. Aban abandoned exploring Mike. Well, I've done a, done a shy one. Wet. How you doing, man? Yeah. What? Why isn't it happening? What? So how are you doing, man? I, I'm not. I'm not seen any of your videos. I still have to try and check them out sometime. Yeah, I've just. Uh, I'm right. Thanks yourself. Obviously, I, I was. I joined the middle because I, I thought Evan Lad was talking about his last video. <laughs> well, we end up talking about. We end up talking about my genitals all the time. Yeah, uh, I've been on it. I've been, been watching for the last yeah. an hour and a half, two hours. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. I, I, I actually did the explore with Urban Lad on his last video. They did, yes. Yeah. Banging explore. Well, the last, last two, but the last two we've done, Matt, yeah. From, from Matty, who came with us. Yeah. Yeah, that were cool, them. That British home yeah. stores and that, it were like, wow. I put it on a Facebook group, you know, History of Hull. And then they were like, ooh. God, and then the messages that I've got off that was like, oh, that used to be a nightclub, and uh, this is what happened here, and I took my first ballroom lessons there, and stuff yeah. like that. It was like, you know what I mean? It's like proper interesting, genuine people actually messaging me and saying, oh, well done, you know what I mean? It's cool as that. Yeah. And the theatre that... Sorry. Sorry, buddy, go on. Because so I even found out about those um, the metal things from, from the roof that we started off at. Yeah. I found out what someone messaged me about them because we didn't know what there was and he said there was something to do with the, the game Kilns or something. Oh, yeah, them, them uh, the ornate pieces. They're out at Boiler yeah. or something, isn't it? Yeah, something to do with Boiler yeah. or something, yeah. Yeah, it must have been a big Boiler, buddy, because it was a massive piece of thing on it, that, yeah. Oh, yeah, we wouldn't have to move them. No, that's it. You don't know about the theatre. You know, I've had the I've had a newspaper contact me actually and uh, want me to put me uh, video and all my bits and bats on there, pictures and stuff on and paper. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, but that's is it good. is it is it is it like grassing because you've got into a play? I've had also people saying it's all don't being you think you up. Don't you think you should have told the council about how you got in there? What if a drug person's in there taking drugs and that? I said, well, yeah. I actually think someone's been growing drugs Sleeping. in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've got more yeah. chances of an abandoned building having homeless in it than us getting in it. You know I mean? well, exactly. Obviously, we see a door open. You know what I mean? so we, we only get in it because of homeless. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's it. Yeah, it's crazy. If I was on my way, I think I passed it and it looks like it's all been boarded up, reboarded up again. Yeah, I think it will have, buddy. The front, the front of it and everything. Yeah, I think they need to do with that one because it was quite a, an ornate building, wasn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, and, it was, yeah. From, from a couple of my messages I've got on my uh, uh, Facebook and stuff like that, a lot of people are, are quite upset with the state it wore inside, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 
So, yeah. It's a shame. It is a shame because these theatres were made. I mean, someone actually put on that they, uh, her mum used to go there with her sister to watch as it, when it were a cinema. Yeah. And yeah, she yeah, yeah, it, yeah. next month in February, she's 102 years old. Wow. And that, yeah. it's like that. I just said to her, look, you know what I mean? Message me next month and I'll just, you know what I mean? Give her a shout out and stuff for her age yeah. and that. 102 years old. Jesus Christ. Wow. Me and Carl honest, I hope too. I don't live to that long because, God, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm 48 soon and it's like, that's long enough. You know what I mean? It's like, wow. <laughs> but when you see it, it's like that, what, 102 years. Oh, my God, that's a long time, is that? That's and there, was, there were times in, in some like sites. Coal, coal mining communities in Wales where people worked hard for not much money under bad conditions, and yeah. they didn't have any entertainment, you know, so they, they would have the pub, and they would have sing songs, and somebody could play a piano around somebody's house. But the thing is, it's like they, they built the theatres, and they built these things, it's almost like, you know, to, to keep people happy, you know, to give them something to, to you know, make, make, it's like playing rugby and football and, and all these things were done so that people could have some sort of feeling of worth, you know, like they, they were getting entertained, they were learning stuff. Some people, when they didn't have televisions, you know, would have been watching news stories, so they would have been finding out about the wars, what was going on, you know, seeing seeing the Queen's face moving you know, but yeah. because up on the big screen. So people would have got, they, they got their, their real angle on the world for the very first time, not just on newspaper, but actually the words, the seeing them, the seeing things, you know, and all yeah. those experiences people had, and those things were put there, the money was either put in by the, the people who owned the mines or the councils or people themselves put the money in to build these things. And these days it's considered, ah, oh, it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant now. We've got phones, we've got this, we've got that. So we're not interested in that. And it's like it's just sort of swept to one side, and they they can't wait. It's like they can't wait to knock it down unless somebody lists the building. They're like mm. waiting, like vultures, like go on, knock it down, you know. Yeah, so the blind, you know, put a car park. The blind or set flats. Yeah. Sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, the blind explorer took us to a theatre in Manchester, and it was in the middle of absolute nowhere. You know, it was in the middle of an estate. It had been there for. It had been shut off for 30 years. Wow. Yeah. This is it was in a rough little place. Put it this way, at the back of it, there was a car chop shop at the back of it. Was that sleep by chance? Well, yeah. Apart, <laughs> apart the car there, is it going to be safe there? And this just <laughs> big black well, big black guy says, I all right, you're all right. And then just looked at the blind explorer and went, Well, like and then we climbed over the fence. Car was all right. It come out, come out with two wheels cool. off. And the car's back and front. So, okay. <laughs> so the blind explorer is like pretty okay. And this place is like a time capsule. It really yeah. was. Is it the one that's got pink inside it? Sleep yeah, well, it. it's got, it's got yeah, the uh, it. it's got the the women on either side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you have to go across the room to get you in there? You know what I mean, Mike? Yeah. Isn't yeah, it a nice yeah. place. Go to yeah. You go yeah, in. It's, you think, it's not. It's not been touched. Twenty yeah. twenty years. It's been locked. It's in the middle of a street. You wouldn't even know it yeah. was there. A theatre. You wouldn't even know. Do you yeah. think that some people in the area and they didn't even know when I was there? Yeah. You no. Know, some other other we bumped into some other little airbexes on at another place just around the corner, and I said, "Oh, we just come from the the feet around the corner," and they said, "Oh, we didn't even know there was one." If you look close at the wall, where the stone mark is on the red bricks, it says 1792. Yeah. That's how old it is, the building yeah, itself. It's frightening. 1792, a theatre. Yeah, 1792. Wow. It's a long time. Yeah. yeah it was a good that Do you know what the sort of feeling I get when these buildings are lost? I'll give you a parallel example that kind of tells you... people. Because people don't connect with buildings sometimes, and they go like, "Why are these urbexes are into these sorts of things, and why do they care, and why do they, you know, why do they feel like justified?" I'll put an, I'll give you a different, a sideways example, which tells you how I feel about uh, this sort of stuff. <clears throat> I, I know somebody who was given a horse 
by somebody because they, they were moving away and they couldn't look after it. So they gave him the horse. And this person said, don't worry, I will look after it. Right. Yeah. And this horse had an injury, which was perfectly deal with it. it it's eye got gouged. Yeah. And it could have had the eye, eye taken out and horses manage really well with just one eye. But that would have cost a little bit of money. So rather than speak to anybody about it, they just had the horse put down. Hey. Oh, wow. Right. Now there, that's what I feel like about these buildings, which are, they belong to all of us, really. Yeah. Somebody yeah. seems to think that it's theirs. they got a right to fuck with it and, you know, and fuck it off. But ultimately, they belong to all of us, and we yeah. shouldn't allow these people to bully the community in into sort of like allowing these things to run down and and having them right. They're right in the center of communities. It's like an ice. It's like a white elephant. It's like, you know. So, how can they be allowed to just right in front of your front door allow that to happen and expect you to just put up with that and do nothing about it? Yeah. And that's yeah. what you know. So when when I go to these places, I honestly don't feel bad about it because I'm thinking, well, if we're taking an interest in it, because you aren't, you own it. Yeah. You you don't give a shit about it, but we are taking an interest in it, and we'll show people and get people's imaginations back on what this was. Yeah, they don't like yeah. that because they don't want anyone remembering what it was. Because if people remember what it was and how good it is, and, and their their imagination started to open, they'll try and preserve it or they'll try and have some love for it. They want you to forget about it, so in the middle of the night, they can come along and bulldoze it. So they hate the fact that we're showing interest in it. Yeah. They say, "Well, oh, you could just ask them, ask them permission to go in there." Yeah. Have you Maybe seen Martin if you're, BBC, if you're the BBC, probably me, Ingram <laughs> Atten. Have you seen Martin Zero's latest video, Matt? Yeah, Martin is is good. He goes to very obscure places and takes yeah. you back into the history, things you never knew. Have you Have you seen today's upload? I saw the one yesterday, which was like these. Um, it was like my, uh, the mines used to offload their stuff into these rivers. Yeah, and, but and did yeah, and then the rivers. But now so, the mines have disappeared, but the rivers are still there, and people don't remember yeah. why there are monuments on the rivers he's because a, it's like he's up. Yeah. So sorry, sorry, stop you. Uh, That's right. He's just uploaded a video today uh, that was done. He did an archaeolog uh, sorry archaeological dig, right before right. some plats go up. Uh, he's pretty good actually. He's but he he filmed it last year. Then they told him don't release any of the video footage until we basically ring you basically. Yeah, you know, I, I support his channel. They did, you know, they didn't. It was done. It was a. A proper, let's say, then archaeological dig was. I haven't yeah, seen it's it. Yet, like, but, yeah, like it's like it's like a, well, basically like a sewer. It was like originally a sewer, mm -hmm. and then before the builders moved in, took it all out of Victorian sewer. It, it, all the brickworks there. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. it's, it's mad. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. It's Love the last chance to see, isn't it? It's the last chance to see. Yeah. It. If, if you can't is, get yeah. like a university, a university to do a survey of it. You know, and, and often that just involves taking a few photos and then writing a report that's right, yeah. and that's it. Now you can bulldoze it. I mean, I say, you know, you, you should always send like a full camera team in, like, you know, photos, video, you know, everything, 360, high res, laser scan it, you know, like the whole works. Then then you can get rid of it, but at least there's a record of it, you know. It shows you how much people like Martin Zero. He's got 72,000 subscribers, man. Mm. Like in a couple of years' time, it'll be up like in a half a million, probably. Reckon, yeah. <clears throat> well, he, uh, I, I've uh, I've asked him if he wants to come to the uh, Megatron in the summer, uh, and he said, "Yeah, yeah, just let me know on that." So if if you want to come, I'll be coming up, back uh, this Matt, time. If you want to come up, Matt, just you know what I mean. It's uh, it's uh, it's it, there's no secrecy involved. It's just a Underground in Sheffield, but it's an amazing explorer. It's, it's really cool. I you know what I mean? We can't be car and we can't decide to collapse in the middle of yeah, the street. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to come, but I, I would, I would say, like you know, as long as the whole world and his brother doesn't know about it, because uh, I don't yeah. want anyone pull, pulling any stunts. Yeah, um, yeah. That, <laughs> and then, and then also, like with the proviso that if the weather is shit, I'm not going down a sewer. 
No, uh, urban stop, legend. Stop, if you're stop, out stop, there, I, I did. We had this conversation, <laughs> and then look we what happened. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're lucky, you know. There's places in Bristol. That I'm, I would, I'm, I'm interested going down, but they've got automatic sluice gates, and they're literally they store the, the water up there, and then they go right. Well, we haven't had rain now for a bit, so we can let it go. So they just you're wandering around there, and they just go boosh, and it will. You you won't hold on. You won't be able to walk like they did. You'll be you'll be oh. down down the way, you know. That nearly happened to Carl, uh, urban, the mm. urban legend, and Richard mm, Wellock. Yeah. That's, that's, that's exactly about, yeah. what happened to him. Yeah, this loose gates had opened. Yeah, that's what it was. They're lucky they only opened a bit, but you know, like yeah. in Bristol, yeah. they, they they they've got a thing that's like the Megatron that goes right the way through the centre of Bristol. I think it's fascinating, but I think it's so yeah, please, risky, yeah. so risky yeah. to do it. I mean, I'd love to go down there, but you, you really be, probably would have to do it with the uh, environment agency and the and the council because they they know you're down there and they won't open the sluice gates. Yeah. So if they open no sluice gates when you're down there, bye. You know, yeah. It's, it's, it it's, it's, it's just out to sea. It's, it's much bigger apparently than the size of like two train uh, trains next to each other. One of those big old tunnels. It's like that, yeah, and it goes all wow. the way from the centre of Bristol. Out to the yeah. River Avon near the sea, right oh, wow. from the centre of town, and it's designed to take that much water because they store that, and when they when it goes, it's like boosh. You know? Yeah. So you know you ain't gonna you ain't gonna be holding on on a rope uh, or bobbing no, about to trying to, try to hold on. Me. No. Very powerful. You like waves. You know, <laughs> jeez. How did you surf? You know, when you go surfing in Australia. They're about that hundred foot high and the surfing in it. I would get the guts to do that. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Still sounds fun though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm up for yeah. I'm up for a risk. I'm always up for a chance and a risk. Yeah, but as long as that risk doesn't involve death, that's well, all about. Well, true, <laughs> but you know, you only live once. You do, buddy. Yeah, and as long as you've got it on camera and that's it's been it, uploaded yeah. before you die. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Get bit, it live streaming as, as you're going along the summit. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm a bit, I'm a bit sketchy with caves, you know, because they could collapse and various bits and pieces, and we yeah. don't take the proper precautions we do. But this draining is another thing you know you need to have some people who really know what they're talking about and unfortunately i think there's a lot of people say they know what they're talking about with some of this stuff and they brag them they brag themselves up and you know you really need to be sure who you're with when you go and do these things because um just because somebody's done it many times and it's all right and they always seem to be all right there's always going to be that one time you know and uh, yeah. a, ca a cave can change though can't it with, mm. like ground structure and stuff a cave can change you can go back yeah. in a cave and after it can be moved about by a meter or something and you won't even know well those like the box mines they were all long corridors that you, you could run a, a cart along you know with wheels like a little train thing and they would put all your put yeah. all your, your your rocks in there and run them up and down it you can't do that when there's a bloody ceiling to come down. There's like a 300 ton boulder came down from the ceiling, and, and now you have to climb over that. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. To totally. If that doesn't tell you, like, well, when that comes down, yeah. be you, do ain't get, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> no. They'll never get the body out. They'll just, they'll just say, well, we know he's under there, but we, we can't do anything about it. 4,000 years' time. Like, oh, well, yeah, that was it. <laughs> Urbexa. Oh, what? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, It'll be like a, we'll be the time capsule. They'll uh, they'll be going. Oh, look, he had a mobile phone. Got Remember mobile phones. Yeah. <laughs> Before yeah. we put them in a chip in your head, they used to have these things called phones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Torches. <laughs> <laughs> Torches. Well, that's, a, that's a bit. It's a bit archaic, isn't it? A torch. Yeah, that's an archaic. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like in. Um, uh, electricity. What's that? <laughs> hoverboards out on uh, what were it? Back to the Future hoverboard. They were like, oh, I'm gonna get one of them when I grow up. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have one of them. You know what I mean? It's like what they still haven't brought them out yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I reckon in the in the future, see that everybody will be putting on like a like a headset or plugging themselves in some way, and they won't go down the actual place. 
but they'd be watching the recording like as if they're there, you know, like like, that, like virtual it, reality, smell it, reality. smell it and feel it. Uh, but they, but in the safety of they, they can not have to like take the risk, like you know, yeah. they can jump out of an aircraft, they can feel the air and everything, like you know, they'd probably be like that. But if somebody has yeah. to film it, somebody has to put that together or a I'm computer can simulate the... it. <laughs> I just want to borrow it. Uh, Emmett Brown's DeLorean, then we'll go and see the future first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah right. just see, the case, see if anything falls down, it'll be all right. Probably, I'll take like, exploring the they... car with me. Be all right. Like they color colorize black and white movies. Some movies have been converted into 3D. Right. And and what they'll probably do in the future is they'll actually have Back to the Future as a real movie, as a reality movie. So they'll they'll have digitized it all, put it into 3D, made it yeah. real. I've got cells. it on Blu-ray. It's yeah. been up and stuff. <laughs> you can do but yeah. you can do where what's it now, can't you? In cinema. Yeah. This is like keep eight K something stupid like you can get the smells. Oh Christ. I had a cramp across my chest then. Oh, Shit. Um, but can you imagine, like, you know, you can go watch these movies and then you can actually be there, like, as if you're there experiencing it for real. But it was just a fictional movie and the hoverboard will be real then, even though in real life they probably haven't got yeah. one. But in the movie, it'll be real and you'll be able to jump on one and, you know, yeah. bomb around. Yeah. Like, you know, feel like a starting. Smack yourself so you know, in feel, feel all hurt, you know, and like looking your yeah. arm broken because you just slammed into a wall on a hoverboard and it's not real. And you go like, oh, that's too much pain, and you look unplugged. Then. Oh, oh, that's better. <laughs> but you look at you look at Star Trek. You know what I mean? Yeah. You think some of the stuff there, and that stuff's reality now. The mobile phone, it's reality. Yep. He gives the guy a pill. You see, you see that when he gives that woman that pill in, in the hospital. One, one of them, and she's like, she's running around basically. She's like, they're happy. Yeah. Yeah, well, they, they're on about like nano stuff now that will clean the plaque out of your veins and and will take drugs directly to a cancer. Whereas at the moment, like if you put a drug in somebody, of course the whole body is drugged, so you get the side effects. They reckon they'll, they'll put the drug on a nano thing that goes just to the cancer and just drops it in the cancer, targeted drug, you know, to one spot. So it's, it's going to be yeah. a, it's a pretty interesting future if we if we can make it that far, you know. It's going to be very yeah. interesting. What did Sarah Connor say in Terminator 2? The future is what you make it. Mm. <laughs> That's true. That's so true. And, and the true, future, isn't it? It's true. It is. It's true. Yeah. And the future, future can be fucked what up you make with, it. Uh, with number six, which undoes everything, so they're all dead. Remember, like the sixth one, it's like the John, John Connor. Sorry, spoilers yeah. to everybody. John Connor, yeah. that they've been trying to protect all this time, within the first five minutes, he's dead. Yeah. So all yeah. All on the then? spear. In the spear. Five like, movies, like, all those, like, behind it. Behind it. Yeah. So it's not about John O'Connor anymore. It's about something else now. It's like, yeah. 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 yeah, so. yeah it's, it's just, that's different directors, though, isn't it? But Terminator, I think Terminator 2 actually got it for me. Terminator 2 is probably, probably the one that actually got it for oh, me. Yes. I've, never, I've probably yeah. never seen a film better about it, to be honest with you. No, that's right. Yeah. Uh, and Predator am, was pretty good uh, as well. I, that was like next level stuff. Predator. That's yeah. And the thing. I ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing. The thing. You know when it was like they got the blood in the in the petri dishes and it's like yeah. he's going like which which one of you is the thing and he's like he's got. What's the, Predator about? You're about Predator. Predator what? The first Predator. No, film. I said the, no. The thing as well. The movie. The thing. I, I've never oh, seen that. Thing, yeah. I've never seen that. And I've not seen that myself, actually. He's got everyone's blood in a Petri dish, and he's got a red-hot nail, and he puts it in, he goes, tss. All right, and then it's like, moves to the next one, so obviously he's human, and he goes to the next person, he's like, tss. It's like, oh, so he's like, Phew. and everyone's sweating, you know, because they don't even know if they are the thing themselves. They, it's like they're, ah, okay. they don't even know if it's, if yeah. it's them, and they're all acting up and sweating and like, oh, they're a panic in. And it's like, yeah. so he's, he's going, and he's nearly everyone's done. And it's like, and it can't be him, the last one. All right, he's, he's sweating. He, goes, he puts the thing, have you, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want to spoil it for you. Oh, you've already spoiled it, Matt. Keep going, keep going. Tell <laughs> it's, 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 it's fucked up. It's yeah. absolutely fucked up what happens at that point. You should watch it. And it's it. actually called The Thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. need to watch this. <laughs> oh, mate. 
It's like things, creatures growing heads and arms and legs oh, and shit. running after you and like growing more heads and shit. Nice. And it's like, what the fuck? It's a yeah. nice scary yeah. movie. Block. And you could chop oh, their head oh. off and it'll just grow another one back and come after you again. Like, <laughs> it's just like, what the, you know? Yeah, it sounds cool. That. Yeah. Yeah. That moment is like such a, such a sort of like you, you're waiting for it and then you're like, nah, nothing bad's really going to happen here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? But, There's so many moments in the, in the movie like that where you're just like going along. It's like, what? And it's like, Jesus Christ, like it gives you a heart attack. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, what we, what we were on about Terminator 2 is absolutely superb. That metal mm. guy, you know, Robert yeah. Patrick, isn't it? That's right, yeah. It just, it just, it was just one of those films where he was just. Well, I was twelve when that came that came out, and it's like the technology of the, oh, well, the animation of the film. You know what I mean? The how it was filmed and stuff. It's just amazing. Yeah. And I don't think Terminator's got it right since. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's not been right since. Yeah. Old school, buddy. Old school. And there's things that we take for granted now, but like just some in. I remember in the cinema, he's just like they, they, they. She's hidden. She's hidden inside a prison cell. There's bars there, like she's so there's bars there, and he just walks up yeah. to the bars and just pushes through them. Pushes yeah, through yeah, them. Yeah, just like, like, yeah. goes yeah. through them. Right. And now we yeah. take so, so much of that for granted now because like people push through and slide under doors and all this sort of stuff. But that was oh. so well, the CGI. The CGI in the film. Of the film then, even then, you know what I mean? How many films are modified now? You don't even know that they're modified. You know what I mean? You can't. Mm. Oh. Matty, I've just had my mate Matty text text me saying you seem educated like David Ike. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know David. I actually oh, know yeah. him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I actually uh, produced produced uh, his videos for him years ago. Oh, really. Brixton Academy. And there you go, Matty. If you're yeah. still watching, there you go. And it, it's it, they're on. If you want to see some of them, they're actually on the Secret Vault channel, but you have to go hunting back down through the, the thing. It, it used to be a football pundit as well. Hmm. Although there is this problem. Yes, he, he was a footballer, wasn't he, for Coventry? Yeah. And uh, then he went on as uh, a presenter for sports. Sports Coventry, presenter. Was it? Yeah, but he was a football and... match of the day. Yeah. Then he had his epiphany. epiphany. That's yeah. when I really started to like him more. He's like, whoa, hang on a minute. Everyone, everyone <laughs> called it his purple tracksuit phase. Yeah, that's right. Mad, pur mad. Purple tracksuit phase. But yeah, no, he's, he's a good guy. And I mean, you know, God, he can talk. He can talk as well. Bloody hell. I mean, like, I filmed him doing a six-hour, uh, with, with maybe a half an hour break in the middle, six-hour talk you know and you don't just bat an to, at it it's just time to let you know that lovely, lovely it says lovely jubbly and there's an awakening happening that's it if that means any sentence to you the awakening is happening now COVID-19 got years of this absolute years of it I, I th the trouble is, it's like we've gone from having wars with other countries to having wars now internally. It's like we are the enemy, and everyone around you is the enemy. It's like it's like being at war with your neighbour or your, you know, your family or or yourself. It's like you know, it's yeah, it's a weird one. And I, and I think that you know, all this like people are so scared, and and I mean, the chances of you dying from it are so. Limited. I don't know why everybody's going around like being so bloody worried. I am. You know? yeah. I am. I ain't worried once. To be fair, since it started, it hasn't stopped me in the in the slightest. To be honest, just the, the awkwardness of it. That's the only thing. Yeah, I just carry on with my because I think that urbex. As long as you don't make contact with people, I mean, that's it. it. We're you... in an abandoned place, isn't it? It's not like we're nobody in needs to know what you're up shopping to. centre. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, right, good old urban, urban lad is driving from Scotland to bloody from Land's End to John O'Groats, and he's getting out of his vehicle all along the way. Yeah, you know, they, what was that uh, movie with uh, what do they call it? Um, where, the, where the virus spreads, 
And then so so contagion. That's it. Is that is it contagion? With, um, contagion. If you watch the film Contagion, Dustin it, Hoffman. It, that is what is happening right now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh Dustin my God, Ho <laughs> Dustin Hoffman yeah. is it? Right. The hey, the same yeah, the right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and there's always a patient zero, isn't there? They reckon that it starts with yeah. somebody and they spread it, and then it goes boom. And the thing is, it's like you know they're saying to people, you've got to stay in your house if you can, as long as you as long as you don't have to work. Well, doesn't everybody have to work? Really? Exactly. Yeah, got it. So so ultimately, yeah. then everybody shouldn't be staying in the house because they've all got to work. But they're going, oh well, you, if you could do your work from home. Well, most people can't. So you can't. No, but I've got to fit mats every day. I've got I've got to put I've I've got to make mats every day at work. It's not for the yeah. NHS, so it's not emergency. So why am I working? Yeah. Mm. Well, well uh, in the first it, shutdown, you've got to do it. In the first shutdown, the roads. Honestly, it was like there was an apocalypse because it was just mm. trucks on the road. There was no cars. Every so yeah. often, you see see a car you look up in the sky no planes yeah and i drive mm -hmm. past airports and they'd be like all the planes were parked on the runway you know what i mean it was just like it was as though the world had stopped honestly and then uh now it, you go and we're on the obviously the second shutdown and the, the cars are everywhere there's no planes on the runway everybody's doing what they want to do so why don't they just let the world or let it just go just let it grow do everybody just come out do what you want to do i know i don't want anybody to die i don't i don't want people to die but people are going to die so why don't people go out there and just let this get the strain and 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 become immune to it themselves you're not going to become immune to something if you sat inside, you know what I mean? You're not going to be, yeah, yeah. It, it, you know what I mean? It's always going to be there. It's crazy. It's crazy. I agree. And me I agree. And, and Michelle uh, says, my missus says exactly the same thing. You know what I mean? So. Somebody said, are you up at 5 a.m.? Uh, no, I'm not up at 5 a.m. I'm up at 8 a.m. But I'm going to, I'm going to have to shoot off anyway, guys, because I still haven't had no tea yet. And, oh, uh, Christ. And uh, it's it's getting late. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, do you know what I mean? This has been an amazing stream. Thank you to everybody for coming on. Yeah. Uh, thanks everybody. In chat. Yeah. Well, if thanks, anybody thanks wants to say, up, putting up with you know uh, I mean? that earlier, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't worry you. about it. Buddy. All I'm gonna do is just uh, I'm gonna keep the video on there, and I'm just gonna put it as an 18. You know what I mean? With language as well. All oh, right. Yeah. Fair show. And just let if people want to watch it, they want to watch it, don't they? You know what I mean? It's uh, yeah. as, as long as you guys are, you know what I mean? As long as you're not bothered about it being up there still, I'll put it private if you want, buddy. No, 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 no. I, I think you know, I mean, let people because they'll be talking about it, and then you'll end up everybody will be sharing bloody secret copies of it with each other. You might as well just keep it up there, I suppose. But see how it goes. See how yeah. it goes. I mean, at the end of the day, whoever is right or wrong is going to come out, you know what I mean? It's going to come yeah. out, yeah. That's it. Yeah. I'm wrong. That's... It's gonna come out. If he's wrong. It's gonna come out. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is what it is, Thanks. buddy. It is what it is. So I'm gonna say good night, everybody, uh, and thank you to everybody in the chat for coming in. Don't forget to subscribe to everybody that's in the chat and on the panel. And you know what I mean. Uh, I love you all and leave you all, guys. You know what I mean. Stay safe out there. Thank you very much. Night, Mark. Oh, night, Mark. Yeah, night.